Oh, oh, hello. they're already here. Oh, they're all friendly, mate. They'll be friendly in all of them now. Oh, this oh. does happen from time to time. We beat the shit out of someone and they decide to join us because reasons. Yeah, <laughs> friendly <laughs> mech, friendly mech. Sorry about that. What do they bring? Friendly mechs, here is Hamster. Follow him. Oh, he is no. your friend. Oh, no, no. You guys are closest. He is your babysitter for no, the second. No, no, no I'm backing away. Advance, I'm backing away. Let's where see, are they going? Let's see where they go. Oh, no, they're going. <laughs> oh. Where are they going? Incredible. No! No! Oh. No! Not again! <laughs> Not like this! Not like this! <laughs> right, I'm going this way. No! <laughs> no! Thank you're you fucking, you you're you fucking the, kidding uh, me! The they Fuck off! Love you. I don't want the responsibility! Leave me alone! Oh, God. <laughs> Great. Good. Superb. Okie dokie. Okay. Right. Uh, so we want to get. Mm, we're going to get that close, actually. Or maybe we could shoot the table. Hang on a minute. We are gonna be we are gonna be so disappointed. Okay, I, I might be able to shoot the table and possibly the floor, apparently. Or maybe I can get rid of the table. Okay. So it turns out that shotguns are infinitely more powerful than AK-47s. Which, I suppose, kind of makes sense. <laughs> that's destroyed a quarter of the house! Oh, that's amazing! Well, I'm glad you guys talked me into it, because that's actually quite funny. And great- Look at this <laughs> giant sea of cargo pods I've left behind. I am not doing responsible wombling. That is not responsible wombling. I've actually left more crap behind than I picked up. I am now the anti-womble. Making good use of the things that we find, leaving all the excess shit floating behind. <laughs> Turning it into a hazard, hazard for all the spaceships. I'm covering the galaxy in huge piles of shit. There you go. Moving on. I wonder how long they microwave liberty. We're not microwaving liberty. No, do not microwave the liberty. Orbital inbound. Gordon, that's heresy, that Gordon is. Ramsay will hunt you down and eat your children. Sorry, Tommy. That's what I know. Oh. <laughs> oh my god, we're just barraging everything. This is great. I love it. I think we call this the word of the day is excessive force. Yeah, no, it's it's just about the right force. <laughs> oh, hang on. Right, ghoulie shots. Oh, yeah, look, the ghoulie shots work. You're right. I told you. Yeah, I oh, shit, you. I'm out of fucking ammo. Damn it. The ghoulie shots. Ghoulie <laughs> shots. I call them that, but I'll take it. <laughs> ghoulie shots. Behold the ghoulie shots. Super effective. Mm, I found my calling. I'm <laughs> hiding well there. away from you lot. Staying up here. Oh, this, isn't, this isn't level the city because it's a new way. Leveling the city, very good, my lord. <laughs> oh, no, I was gonna say, you said the words. I don't like how that shell went right over my cockpit. I could have been worse. Could have been through your cockpit. I am aiming way above you. Wait, have I got way some way above I'm further you? In front, it does and not I saw, I feel like shot, that. And then I see the clouds. It does not feel like that, good sir. <laughs> I am a taller <laughs> mech. <laughs> And here we see the Kentaro and the Hunchback having the <laughs> annual argument of fisticuffs <laughs> due to errant artillery shells. Getting into fisticuffs. In the natural environment, the densely populated urban area. Uh, I mean, in a, in a sphere, Max, yes, the natural thing of fisticuffs is a thing. Yep. Really? We, we just descend into rock and sock and robots. <laughs> <laughs> hey, fists, notely reloading. <laughs> I did not notice the Orion were facing the wrong way. Let's hope the other one isn't missiles. They're getting the angle on me. Oh fuck me! What was that? Armor blow through. Internal damage. Holy fuck! What was that? Uh, well, I think the Orion's dead. Luckily, they fired the missiles at the archer. Okay, that looked like some sort of plasma thing, but holy shit.
Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, it's I, Hamster of Wrath, frowning slightly because uh, I missed the unmute the mic button, which is uh, rather amusing compared to welcome in, everybody. I hope you're doing very well. We are back with some more Stellaris, and my camera is flickering, which is a good start. Uh, yes, the lighting is a bit cursed. I've got lots of light coming from over here, and not very much light coming from over here, so I'm doing my best. Um, but yes, we have some lovely people in chat already. We have uh, Math, we have Roach Mogul, we have CT Gaming. Uh, I think it's everyone so far. Welcome in, welcome in. Hope you're doing well. And uh, yes, we're going to uh, continue where we left off, which was in a little bit of chaos. Um, we had first contact uh, issues across the board. Uh, we found some friendly robots, which actually, I wonder if I can get them to do it a second time. Hang on, when I was mucking around, they said something very interesting when I spoke to them. Violence is a relatively simple and efficient way of achieving an objective, would you not agree? I am slightly worried that this whole heart symbol might be a little bit misleading. Uh, I don't think these guys are actually particularly nice. I think it might have been a bit of a, uh, <laughs> a bit of a bluff. So that'll be an interesting thing to keep an eye on. So we've got potentially three assholes uh, lined up. Um, Right next to our uh, borders, which uh, sucks, but there we go. No, we can't see their civics yet. No, we haven't got, uh, we haven't gained enough intelligence on them to figure out what their civics are just yet. So that's not great. Okay, so first order of business. I need to actually start segmenting things out a little bit so I don't uh, overwhelm myself like I did last time. Now, I think we had some weapons upgrades. I'm going to have to move this a little bit. That is ferociously bright. Hang on, I'm going to just tweak that a little bit. There we go, that's better. Lighting, it's a curse. It's like how the Vikings named Iceland and Greenland. I mean, I guess. Right. Uh, so, we have some upgraded lasers. Apparently, uh, red lasers are not as good as blue lasers. I'm not really sure why. So, we might actually have a use for the uh, reactors here. So, we can give us some more... Energy, uh, at which point we can put bigger guns on, which is always a good thing, I feel. There we go. I've got 16 power left on top of that, so I feel that's a good idea. Greenland used to be a lot green on its uh, southern shores. Uh, okay. I mean, everywhere was green at one point when you think about it. Well, except the desert. That probably wasn't green. <laughs> Right, I don't think we've got any adjustments to make here because we haven't got any different missiles than what we already have. No? Good, okay. That doesn't need changing. And then I didn't, wasn't sure about how... Oh, we don't have to upgrade the, the uh, platforms. That's good because they've already got medium blue lasers, which is good. So that's handy. So now what we need to do, we need to uh, upgrade everything if they'll actually let me. Oh, interesting. It won't... Oh, did I not save it? I didn't save it, did I? Ha <laughs> ha! Good start. I was like, yep, there's a there's a very vital piece of uh, information I failed to do there, which was save the design. There we go. Right, and it won't let me save it because, oh, it doesn't have enough power. There we go. The reactor booster on there. They're in general stronger than red lasers. Uh, yeah, that's why I'm putting them on here, but I I, I just, I'm trying to reach for the justification of uh, why why they are better, simply for the fact that, the oh, in real life. Oh, okay. Oh, it's something to do with the uh, light frequency, is it? Oh, okay. Well, there we go. That's something I didn't realize, that blue lasers are uh, more scary than um, red lasers. So there we go. Helldivers taught me that, yes. When the Illuminate eventually arrive, they will be uh, quite terrifying. Right, so we need to upgrade the fleets now, so let's do that. There is, alas, a relatively... Uh, we have a relative lack of... Um, what's his name? Starfields. Not Starfields. Shipyards. That's the word I'm looking for. Shipyards, so they're probably going to pile into the same shipyard and upgrade in all the same place, which would be amusing, I guess. Right, something is asleep. What is asleep? This construction ship is asleep. Right, I think we need to start taking this territory here because 
it's got lots of lovely, lovely resources and uh, other planets that we can't actually look at yet. So that's fine. So let's send him over there. Todd Howard's? Todd Howard's? I don't understand the reference. Uh, they're excavating. Okay, they're going there. That's fine. Right. Now, the other thing I think might be a good idea is... Hmm. Probably if I... Re I think I reinforced here a little bit. I wonder if I can reinforce a little bit more. Because this is a... Oh, I can only have three... I can only have three things on there. In which case, if I turn this into a starport, because my starport limit is six, and then we can put more defenses on it, because that's like that's like a bit of a choke point there, so that's good. Oh, Starfield, right, gotcha. <laughs> Todd Howard Starfield is. Starfield singular. Not not Starfield multiple. Right. Uh, these random little ships are going to be doing absolutely nothing right now, so I'm just going to send them down here. Because uh, there's no way anyone can come at it from this angle, at least I don't think so. That's an unsurveyed system. Do we have a sleepy science ship? Yes, we do. Look at that. Go forth and survey. Oh, requires a scientist? Oh. That's why he's not doing anything, because it's a science ship without a scientist. How did I manage that? Huh. Um. Wait, have I got five science vessels and only no one, two, three, four? So. Wait, that's confusing. If I've only got four science ships, and one of them's empty, how come each of these is occupied? That's confusing. Did I just randomly build a science ship and then just didn't crew it with anybody? It looks like that's exactly what I did. Fine. Okay then. Oh, whoops. Now I've just accidentally now I've just made another science ship redundant because that put that too has nobody in it. What have I I, I clearly built a, an excess science ship that we didn't really need. Um So I think we'll just get rid of that, because we honestly don't need it. Two fleets purely for hit and runs and defense. Well, uh, the thing is at the moment, Math, all we have are corvettes and frigates. <laughs> that is, that is literally all we have. Um, but I've got like what three fleets worth? Uh, no, one, two, three, four fleets worth. So yeah, we're kind of doing okay-ish on that front. Right, in which case, let's find that guy who wasn't doing anything and get him out there and start surveying things, because... There we go. I wondered why that science ship was asleep. Oh, hello. Uh, hey, PM Collector Boy, how's it going? Uh, looks like Machine Age is the first DLC to get good reviews. Time to grab it. Yeah, I, I'm kind of like... I, I think I've got enough to get on with with this, uh, this playthrough at the moment. Um... Maybe next time around, um, I'll have it added. But at the moment, it's like we can't take advantage of most of the origins and stuff because the game state's already started. But yeah, it certainly looks interesting. Right, it's another faction. Okay, the Church of Spiritual Philosophy. Isn't that a bit of a, re a bit redundant? I don't know. Oh god, and the Democratic Reform Party. Oh, oh my word. Right, what's 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 the situation going on here? Uh. Okay, the Battle Brethren are not popular. Uh, wait, where was the faction that had... Oh, okay, the faction that has 100% approval... Wait, these guys literally just spawned. Why are the Battle Brothers do not have um, any support? Oh, because no conquest, no... That's a like high naval capacity usage. I've got 76, that's all I've got. Ah, you guys can just... whatever. Philosophy and spiritualism are mutually exclusive. That's kind of what I was wondering about, to be honest. That was like... yeah. Yeah, the only reason it's 76 is because I think I got that free fleet. That's probably what's causing the, causing the uh, confusion, I'd imagine. Right, this is an ongoing first contact. Okay, good stuff. Right, let's have a look at... 
uh, our colonies and stuff. Right, we've got uh, no nothing to build there and no room left, so that's not terrible. Uh, no blockers to clear either, that's good. Right, what about here? Um, all out of districts. Uh, can't move any of these. I love that. I read that as impossible mountains for a second there. It's, a, it's impossible mountains. I'm not going to be able to move the damn things, am I? So, yeah. All right. Are these guys... Oh, stability is not great. 28% population approval rating minus 21. Okay. Yeah, we definitely need some... Uh, we need some jobs. Um, what should we put here? We've got an auto to thon. Research lab, energy grid, residences. Hmm. Mountain, impossible. <laughs> dun, 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 dun. Uh, how about some commercial zones? Why not? And some civilian industries? Also, why not? Uh, no, can't clear any of those either. Just use unstoppable moving services. Yeah, so, yeah. Yeah, what happens when unstoppable moving services meets impassable uh, freight? Uh, bad things, probably. Uh, want Paragons? I apparently have a gift version of Paragons on Steam. I've got no idea how I got it. I've looked through my bank and I haven't bought it. Someone might have gifted to me and found out how. Oh, that's very kind of you, uh, Math. Um, uh, if, if you want to PM me the, the, the key on uh, Discord, um, I'll give it a go later on, but thank you very much, sir. that's very kind. I don't think I've got Paragons, have I? No, I'm gonna have to consult my own DLC list, hang on a minute. Let me double check, I'm pretty sure I haven't got Paragons. Just in case. No, I do not. Um, I think... Uh, last time when we added DLC during the run, certain things popped up that related to the new DLC. You obviously can't take advantage of Origins and stuff, but I think some of the events just sort of embedded themselves. Um, I'm not really sure. Uh, Sony is the scummiest. Uh, Microsoft hold my beer. <laughs> yeah, what was it? They've, they've, uh, they've absolutely d dismantled a bunch of uh, studios, haven't they? Yeah, it's a, it's a weird time in video games. It really is. Um... If indeed it was ever not a strange time in video games, to be honest. Ooh, we're running out of food. That's very not good. Why are we running out of food again? Le arse. Um, hmm. Really wish I took those hydroponics uh, research options when they cropped up. Because I did not do that. Which is a little bit problematic. But that's okay. All right, what else to do here? Uh, do we have research here? We do not. Let's have a research lab. And commercial zones? Yeah, commercial zones, why not? Uh, Arcane's not a surprise to get the X. Oh, yes! Redfall was... Yes, that's it. Arcane did Redfall, didn't they? That's a very good point. Hey, vampires, how's it going? Yes, I do recall that. That was a... <laughs> that was a travesty of a game. I saw... Uh... I saw a few bits of that and I was just like, oh dear. Oh dear. It sounded like Obi-Wan Kenobi for some reason. Or like a wish.com version of Obi-Wan Kenobi. I don't know. Right. Okay. That should settle that out somewhat. All right. On the total Warhammer grind. <laughs> I, always, I always have to chuckle a little bit when people, people describe, when they say like, a uh, 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 video games and and grind at the same time. It's like I, I always feel that video games should be fun, <laughs> but as long as it's an enjoyable grind, I guess. Hey, Arkham Snuffle, how's it going? Oh dear. Yes. Hello there. I can't. I can't. No. I can't do very good. You and McGregor or um. Oh man. God, who played the original Obi Wan Kenobi? Can't remember his name. Poor fella. That guy. Can't remember his name. Very sad. Um, General Gen Hamster, yeah. Yeah, Hi-Fi Rush was very well uh, received, wasn't it? Uh, never, never really... 
grabbed me as a, as a thing, but yeah, I, uh, lots of people were raving about it. Uh, more research? Why not more research? I've been more complimentary about it, but right now I'm fighting Nurgle. <laughs> yeah, that's never a fun time. I mean, let's face it, uh, Nurgle probably has fun fighting you, but I don't think anyone else has fun fighting Nurgle. It's, it's true. Oh, it's not CD key, I just have it in my Steam inventory where you can see game cards and gifts. Alec Guinness! Sir Alec Guinness, thank you. How I forgot that, I don't know. That's usually nerd trivia, I'm usually pretty good at that. Um, have it your stream inventory? Uh, okay, Matt, I'll tell you what, we'll, uh, we'll figure it out, uh, we'll figure it out later on. Right, okay, is that all the paperwork done for now-ish? I think so. I'm slightly worried about that, but we just built some more food generating things. Uh, I'd love to build another fleet, but I can't because my naval capacity is actually, uh, not great. Starbase anchorages. Oh, I should build an anchorage. That's a great idea. Why am I not doing that? That's a cunning plan. Um, Let's have a look-see. Oh, those are trade routes. Anchorage. There we go. Wait, trade routes? Oh, yes. No, we're, we're not touching the trade routes. Apparently that is... <laughs> that is mass confusion. I'd have more fun if I had guns in this area. <laughs> yeah, no, you don't, you don't want to get close to Nurgle. It's not good. Uh, So let's do anchorage and a shipyard here, I think. And then... Yeah, I really wish I'd, I'd, I'd gone in on the uh, hydroponics, because that would be quite useful, but uh, I didn't, so... Oops! Uh, right. Let's have a look. Wait, why are my shipyards not showing? Oh, there they are. Oh, it's like, now I'm very confused. Right, starbase. Uh... Hmm. Okay. Oh. Oh, okay, because so that was the one I just did. Never mind. And that's in the middle of being upgraded to a starport, so that's good. Okay, works for me. Trade routes, that way confusion lies. Confusion leads to anger, anger leads to hate. Yeah, that's even... People who are, have even more experience in this game than I do have just said that, 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 that just leave the trade routes alone. And I'm like, okay. <laughs> I mean, we do have, uh, like, quite a lot of, of trade things popping up. I don't know if we're actually taking full advantage of them or or what, to be honest. Just for a giggle, let's have a look. Where is the where is the toggle for it? I legit can't remember where it is. Neighbor map mode trade routes, there we go. Well does some blue stuff and some other blue stuff, so happy happy blue stuff, I guess. I don't know. Uh, I've not touched Solaris in many months. I don't find trains routes confusing. I never, literally, it was the last thing I uh, encountered uh, at the very end. I hadn't even touched it. Um, but apparently, this is this looks good. This is this is a number, and it is a big number. So I, I well, I say big. It's fifty-seven. It's not that big a number, but um. I'm assuming that's a good thing. <laughs> so let's just assume it is. Actually, I don't even know if we're taking advantage of it having not built a trade hub in like uh anywhere. Oh, trade collection range. Yeah, okay, I just I'm not sure. Is trade hub even an option? Trade hub is an option. Hmm. How many Oh, we have to upgrade the star base again. Okay, so we haven't actually got star hold info yet. This is fine. Trade resources turn to credits. Yeah, I guess, you know, we're doing okay on the credits front ish. It could, that, that number could be a little bit higher, but I think we're doing okay. Right. That is being built over there. I think he is currently claiming that, so that's good. Right. What's the worst that could happen? I actually started work on this. Oh, hello. Oh! More first contact. Structured signals. We have picked up readings of unknown nature. Uh, a repeating syntax that could be indicate it's, it's TikTok. Maybe it's TikTok. Well, that wouldn't indicate sapient origin, but never mind. Oh! Oh, hang on! 
They seem to be concentrated around a single space station. This fan sounds familiar, Roach Mogul. This sounds familiar. I wonder if we're I wonder if we're uh, we're onto it. We might be. I don't know. Let's hope so. Uh, where? Oh, that's a good point. I haven't actually told the. Uh, are, you, are you doing anything? You just sat there. Oh yeah, he's off. He's off into the. Uh, he's off into the. Oh hello, that's a hostile fleet. What is that? Polarian automated fleet. What's a Polarian when it's at home? Ooh. Those are cruisers. I don't know who the Polarians are, but apparently they're quite angry. Hmm, maybe we should run away from there. It's from Polaris? Well, that's that would make sense, yes. Artisan troop, yeah. <laughs> right, um, I feel down here is not of massive advantage to us at the moment, so I'm gonna kind of get my science guy back into sort of the fold, as it were. Because we've got a lot going on. Uh, they're ocean worlds, I think. Um, ocean worlds, it says, yeah. But it's it's guarded by some very angry people. Do we have any unnamed scientists? Ooh, that's a question. Uh, let's have a look, see. Um, yes. In fact, we have several unnamed scientists. We we have three unnamed scientists. The the only scientist that that has been named is is one of them. Right? What what are you after, Roger Mogul? What does that symbol mean? Bill Nye Atom Crusher. Okay. What a name. Watch this character now just go off and do incredibly nutty things because Roach Mogul has renamed him. That's usually what happens. Okay. Got that right? I got that right. Nailed it. There we go. He's also driving the AHF, the Ars Igongwat, which is a great name for a ship. Uh, I'll be brutally honest with you. Ships upgraded. Oh, nice. Uh, is that all of them or only some of them? Oh god, I've got more first contact. Right, third fleet has been upgraded. Okay, what about the rest of them? I love that we have Artificer's Fleet, Forger's Fleet, Steel Forge, and then we just have Third Fleet. <laughs> just, just, we ran out of ideas, apparently. Uh, okay, that's being upgraded. This is why I wanted to have slightly more, uh, slightly more, um, uh, shipyards. That's it. Or get eaten by the next anomaly they come across. It's very true. The Egon what? Uh, Quinlist Keg Smasher? Oh! Did he retire? He might have retired. Ah. Uh, yeah, I think he retired. Yep. We haven't actually... Uh, Mordraud Shatterbender. Oh, there's a name. Oh, he did retire. Okay, that makes sense. I was going to say, we haven't... Terrible things haven't quite transpired yet. Oh, hang on. We've got first contact here. Ah! We have finally found one of the player empires. Thank God for that. The Kirwin Empire, if I'm still saying that right. This, this should sound familiar. An alien empire is making contact. Um, okay. Roach Mogul, I've got no idea how this pans out with what your original one was, but they are now fanatic spiritualist authoritarians. Is that right? <laughs> Did they start that way? I honestly can't remember. Rename the psionic mounts to silver. Oh, okay. That's interesting because when we were trying to contact them, I think I think they said it was they were isolationists, but who knows? Okay. Uh, I represent the Kyrian Empire, led by the illustrious Grand Arcanes Rodrig Dentelnik. There you go. We rule our region of space under a divine mandate. Uh, okay, fine. Everyone's everyone's spiritualists. I love it. Hello. Let's be nice. Okay, so that means I actually got I've got a spare official now. 
So, what have we got? Is this them? There they are! Look at that! Wow, okay. You, you're, uh... You're doing pretty okay on the, uh, uh... Military front already? Good god. Everyone's got more ships than I do. That worries me. Right, let's do the, uh, redemption before I forget, because, uh, that's a bad habit I have to do in that. Right, leaders. Psionic Mouse. Uh, which is... Dak! Daughter of Jerk, which is just okay. Well, that's a good sign. That's a good sign. I did honestly think last uh, go around, I had a horrible feeling that we would we would not encounter anyone's fleets, uh, fleets, empires, but uh, we did, so that's good. Imagine trying to be a fearsome empire, but we were rivals' reactions. So what a cute kitty! Yeah, I feel it's kind of like um uh. It might be, like, full sense of security. Yeah, your empire's... Why... Oh, you guys are Voidborn. That's why I don't see any, uh, borders. That makes sense. I was just like, why have you got no borders? I'm like, now I know why. Um, okay. Are we... Are we already working on this one? Yes, we are. Okay. So is that the only... Was that the last new first contact we had right okay so i've got a spare official so what i should really do is uh try and get them to butter some people up here um and then we have an ad so this is this is where all the people who are unsubscribed can't can't figure out what i'm doing so i'm gonna not do anything terribly exciting while i'm waiting for the ad to pop off I I'm going to take a drink because it's uh, relatively warm today. Uh, so, hello, subscribers. I hope you're all doing very well. <laughs> uh, yeah, we've we've altered the um, uh, ad set up a little bit uh, just so people don't bounce off the stream because uh, pre-rolls are a pain. So, yeah, I'm trying to get into the habit of when an ad is running, I, I don't do anything, like, super interesting. I probably won't notice sometimes if I get carried away, but... We can have a stretch, we can crack our knuckles, we can do strange things with our neck and uh, sort out our posture. There's an idea. Uh, value for money, me. Right, okay. Um, so I think we should probably uh, try and talk one of these guys round because it'd be nice to have somebody like us. Most of these guys don't like us. The melodic hub is actually... I want to see them, what the Melodic Hub actually... Because they're the nearest to us. And the other two things are... Um, fallen Empires. So I figure if we try and chat these guys up... Even though it does says that they do talk about violence a lot. Jesus, the fox, foxes hate you. Uh, they... Did, did they? How much did they hate me? Let's have a look. And welcome back, everyone. <laughs> that should be over now. Uh, Twitch. Uh, minus 100. Yes, they're not keen. Well, they are evangelizing zealots. That's probably... That probably doesn't help much, really. Right, we're going to see if we can figure out more about the uh, the, the allegedly nice uh, robots. So let's see if we can improve relations with the robots. I'm intrigued. Also, I want to see what their civic is. If their civic is eat everyone, we could be in terrible trouble. Right, so the Kiliwin Empire have said, fuck off, uh, you can't have our, our, our territory, which is, is fair. I was leaving anyway. Um, they already have an invasion fleet. That's that's nice. That's good to know. They're, they're clearly meaning business. The Manifesti are my fault. <laughs> Why are the Manifesti your fault? I don't, uh, I don't follow. Oh. Ships upgraded. Okay, literally, you you saved me some time, and you yeeted my science ship straight out of uh, your territory, which is which is good because um, that's actually where I wanted it. So <laughs> that works out fine. Um, where did it say it? Where did it land? Nitris. Okay. Uh, oh, Nitris is here. Except that's not where it returned. It's probably, like, in the void now. It is, it's been yeeted into the void. That's great. Thank you for the stretch, Exevil! 
crap hamster yoga. The manifesti happened on Shrabaria under... Oh, I see! You were managing the planet. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I remember ships go MIA, don't they? Right, well, they've closed their borders. Okay, well, I guess we can do the same to them, because that just makes sense. Uh, where are we? Uh, Kill the Empire. Right, if you're going to close your borders, I'm going to close my borders to you. So there you go. It's not as if they're gonna make this gonna make them make us hate make them hate us any more. Okay, it did make them hate us slightly more, but that's okay. Uh, the Bin Penchan actually like us, which is kind of funny. Um, probably because they're spiritualist egalitarians. That kind of makes sense, really, doesn't it? Fox people will burn in holy flames. <laughs> I do wonder where your lot are, uh, to be honest, um, math. They they may well be slightly further around here. I mean, they could be anywhere. There's there's plenty. The galaxy is big. They, they could be anywhere. Right, you have no orders. Why are you... What are you doing there anyway? That's slightly confusing. Um, why don't you come over here and... Oh, wait, hang on. There's a project here? Oh, graveyard... Oh yeah, we should probably go and have a look at that. There you go. Well, this is fine. Uh, and I'm pretty sure... Did I not send anyone out here to survey this? Oh no, we did not. I need a construction ship for that. Okay, because we actually have surveyed them. Okay. Uh, are you guys all busy? Are you doing something? No, you're not doing anything. You should get out there and start claiming the territory. Grab the stuff. Oh no, somebody else is already on it. Okay, this is fine. Oh, hello. Um, right, we'll, we'll leave the election alone because it just burns unity, even though we do have a lot of unity right now. Uh, closed borders, no access, fleet upgraded, good stuff, and election. We're fine. Send an envoy to improve relations with the Kirin Kirinites. I'll I'll leave them be for now. They are... They've, they've got bigger problems, I think. They've got some angry... They've, they've got some angry Polarian robots on their border. Um, no wonder they've amassed a fleet to deal with them. However, I'm interested, interesting to see what this first contact is, because that's right on your screen. Just mega sneezed on my screen. <laughs> I'm only laughing because I have done that before. Um, no problem, Quintlist. Enjoy your lurk. Construction complete. Yeah, when you when you play a lot of uh, games that have dark backgrounds, you're kind of like, I really need to clean my screen. That's information no one really needs to hear. Right, are we doing okay? We're doing relatively okay. Complete. Okay, cool. That's uh, taking that. Some more research. Can we take here as well? Yes. Build an outpost. Conquer the universe. Steal the goodies. Sorry, lawfully claim the goodies. I have to keep remembering that. I could have sworn. Did I not send one of the... Oh, they're still upgrading, that's why. I'm kind of like, why are these people not going out where I told them to? And it's because uh, they're upgrading. Spaceborne life form encountered. Algrid Forge Brewer got the... The uh, Forge Brewer got the hostility trait. Okay. What, what are you... Are you are you one of our leaders? What are you doing? What is the problem? Oh, you're in charge of a fleet. Okay. Hmm. Uh -huh. Yeah, Angie. Hey, Shepard, how's it going? Welcome, welcome. Construction uh, complete. Yeah, missing an action. That's fine. Oh, more first contact. Oh! After successfully translating the language, we've established communication with the independent space station of the Artisan Troop. Wait, didn't somebody say something about the Artisan Troop just a second ago? Was that a spoiler? Somebody said something about Artisans or something, didn't they? I don't know. Oh, okay. Quinlis did. Okay, let's see if they want to talk. Our presence in the galaxy has not gone by unnoticed. <laughs> he is... Headmaster 
Gestith of Gut, and he looks like a terrible cross between monkey and pigeon. That's a... that's a thing. Uh, what DLC was this from? Because I have not seen this before. A visitor! A joyous occasion indeed! We are the artisan troop. Uh, art, magic, culture, and other things which makes existence bearable. Do not hesitate to contact us. Uh, interesting? What the hell's that all about? Artisan troop. Uh, we wish to, wish to commission an art piece. We wish to become your patron. Tell us more about your troop. Okay, where are these guys actually based? Oh, in the middle of Bumblefuck, apparently. Oh, Leviathans? Oh, okay. I don't think these guys have a base. I think they just are. Yeah. Oh, itchy nose. That's soon to be hay fever season. I can probably start thinking about that. Okay, let's have a quick chat with them. Pup monkey, pup bird, all artist. All Leviathans, okay, yeah. Several station based faction. If you own their star system, you can upgrade the space station, get a unique space station upgrade. Okay, so I wonder if they. Oh! Tonjakang. Tonjak. Tonjakang? Tong. Tonjak. I can't pronounce that. I don't know where that is. Apparently I've discovered it without discovering it. It I think it's here somewhere. So right, commission art piece. Wish to become your patron. Tell us more about your troop. Right, tell me more. Tell me more, tell me more, you're a monkey bird. See them on the map as a small white background icon on certain systems. Oh, okay. Being their patron is pretty good. Okay. Many services to those wish to enjoy art. If you sponsor our work, we may be willing to organize larger events for your people. I mean, our income isn't fantastic. We're only actually getting eight per month, but I, I, I wish to see what, what is involved here. Allowing us to try new ideas uh, and take more risks in our creation process. We have a 10-year program with a one-time upfront cost. Okay. They're the flying monkeys from Wizard of Oz. That is never, never a good sign. That is never a good sign. <laughs> uh, okay, it costs us 2,000. Patron of the Arts modifier added for 10 years. Monthly Unity plus 10%, Opinion plus 20%. That sounds pretty okay. I can handle that. Well, why not? Let's... <laughs> Of all the things I was not expecting to do today is um, sponsoring monkeys to make art. The monkeys that wrote Spaceship. Chocolate is low. No, chocolate is low. You are correct. I, I've probably forgotten. I've built a lot of candy and not enough chocolate. You might be right there. Let's do it. Excellent. Monkeys that wrote Shakespeare. Monkeys that wrote, wrote spaceships. Yes. Monkey ships. Um, I read that as Letter to Jesus. That is not what that's called. Uh, what are you doing? Oh, you're building a mining station. Okay, that's good. Right. Uh, does that conclude that? It does. Glorious. Why is one of my ships yelling at me? Oh, fleet's currently MIA. That's fine. Construction complete. Okay, that's more things I'm stealing. Complete. Rename the system to Letter to Jesus. <laughs> oh god! Oh wow! Did do we do we take this system? Oh, we did. Okay. Are you are you why no? Take advantage. Yes, automatic. Yes, we need all these resources. Look at all these glorious resources. Take them. 
Ships upgraded. Why? Why did I not do that? Right, okay. Uh, I gotta find it now. Here we go. Oh, god damn it. Draconic communications. Uh, oh, hello. Right, hold on. What about leading linguists? Oh! We can have a chat to the Sky Dragon! Oh! According to our earliest histories, there was a fabled accord between the Hegeans and the Dragon, after which direct conflict ceased. Ooh! Interesting! Our envoys will attempt to communicate with the Dragon. Yes! Uh, is that something they have to do? Is that a situation log situation? Um, uh, Draconic Communications, here we go. A silent envoy to learn about the Moo aliens. Uh, yeah, show it. Go for it. Also, there's so much stuff we haven't done over here. We haven't actually delved into the secrets of the Ute yes, yet, which we really should do because we've now nicked it. Um... Yeah, let's do that, actually. Communicate your need for war crimes? Yeah. Right, uh, how do I rename a system? Um... Is it the star I rename? Oh, there we go. Rename system. There we go. Found it. I should, I should keep my mouth shut. <laughs> oh, I love it. Is that retroactive? Is that? Oh, it does. Look at that. Okay. Now the funny thing about that, it then it then retroactively renames all the all the planetoids around it to be then letter letter to Jesus one, letter to Jesus six. <laughs> That's funny. I like it. The Kiani are in the corner brewing, uh, brooding. Yes, they are. It all counts as chat interactions. Very true. Uh, oh, hang on. Right, technology. Uh, oh, wow, we got the star hold. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Okay. Uh, they're busy for a bit. That's fine. Hang on a minute. I got it. Ugh. Readjust my headphones a little bit. Okay, we've got the coil gun, which is poop. We have afterburners, which is pretty good. Destroyers. I think we should unlock destroyers. I feel that's a good idea. Uh, either destroyers or ceramic metal materials. What do we reckon? I'm gonna. I think. Also, that gives us higher fleet command limit. Yep. Let's do that. Yep. 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 Uh, yeah. What is this? Is this consumer goods? Okay, that's a problem. There's always. There's at least one. Uh. Uh. What do I call it? Resource. I forget. At least one. Oh, one of these systems was quite big, wasn't it? Ah, okay, here we go. We need to build some more industrial districts. Uh, in fact, if we do that, we probably need to prioritize that because... That's not great otherwise. It'll be fine, probably. Any star system next to the letter to Jesus, call it repentance. Okay, so... I don't think I own that one. No. Uh, we'll, call, we'll do this one. There we go. I completely forgot you could actually rename systems. That's funny. <laughs> yeah, any, anyone who's like rocking up and having a look at that is like, what were these guys thinking? You assumed I was thinking. Um, okay, that's resources I can't tap just yet. Oh, okay, that's the dragon one. Okay, that's good. Okay. Fleet upgraded. That's good. Uh, first contact, we've got that working. This is fine. This is perfectly fine. I just need another system called Deliverance. I mean, if I if I stole that one quick, I mean, yeah, that'd be funny. 
think somebody else might see it before me though. Construction complete. Uh, why is it yelling at me? What's what's the problem here? Unemployed pops. Uh, well, we're already building stuff. Um, that's a bunch of blockers I can't do anything about. Ugh. Not ideal. It'll be fine, probably. Right, so are all my fleets upgraded now? Because if they are, I should put them back to somewhere useful. Oh no, you do still need upgrading. Oh god damn it. Right. Why does it still say this is this still puzzles me? It says everyone's upgraded, and then it says you need upgrading again, and I'm kind of like, I thought we already did that. So confused. Uh, where are you going, science vessel? Ships upgraded. Uh, oh, okay, you're going in that direction. That's wait, what's this? Upgraded. Oh, graveyard. Okay. You busy? Uh. Well, a small first contact. Uh, is he all right? automated? Right, he is automated. In which case, we should take that because we can afford it. Right, who else wants to talk to us? A careful start. So researchers and linguists control through the known interactions with the dragon. A few experiments. This should be funny. Sure, keep going. Talk to the talk to the giant angry dragon. Nothing bad will happen. I'm sure. It's only on our doorstep. It can only just kill all of us. But don't worry. <laughs> Ships upgraded. Council agenda available. Yeah, I'm actually I'm a little puzzled. It's all the Corvettes that Yeah, again it says it has gotta be upgraded again. Right, those Right, those those have been fully upgraded. Try again. We had this last time, you had to tell them to upgrade, like, five times. I could, well, actually I was about to say I could almost Ships make another upgraded. fleet, but I can't make another fleet because I've not got enough uh, fleet cap. Survey complete. Uh, I don't think so, let me have a look. This auto, uh, auto, oh, auto upgrade. Auto upgrade components. Ah, yeah, that auto upgrades upgrades the uh, design, but it doesn't auto upgrade the ship. I think. I think that's how that works. Oh, council agenda. What have we got? Uh, that's that's not launched yet. But okay. Ships upgraded. Oh, I just noticed it's our like edict fund is uh, out the window again. That's not great. And we're running low on food still. Okay, that's fine. Construction what's, complete. What's happened to our edicts? What's happened last time? We we massively outran the... Uh... So what that's costing us? It's costing us 73? Hmm. Talk to the space dragon. You're cute. We always thought you were cute. <laughs> I mean, we're, you know, the, our, our native species is covered in spikes. Really, it, 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 we shouldn't be tasty, tasty meals anyway. They, they should not like eating us. Oh, hello. Special project completed. Special project complete. Uh, finish the expedition and wrecked starships on the surface too badly damaged. Advanced Engineering Insights. Okay. Sure. Uh, Moon Bump. Celestial object came down on top of a sprawling city. Interesting. 
It's unclear whether the giant rock landed smack on top of the city by design or just a bizarre catastrophic accident. I mean, either or. Spicy like pineapples. That is true, yeah. It probably wouldn't slow the space dragon down complete. very much at all, I feel. Oh god, that's another archaeological site. Okay. Many, many things. The trouble is, guarding this bit is going to be awkward, because there isn't really much of a kind of... Oh, wait, there's nothing out here. That doesn't link to anything. I didn't notice that until just now. Uh, god damn. Uh, we best do something about that in that case. Uh, have we surveyed these places? Yeah, we have. Hold on. Uh, oh, once again we've got two ships gone to the same system again. I really wish they'd stop doing that. I mean, we could, we could, we could nick this little bit here. That would work. Or possibly not the, uh, the, uh, space whales. They would be happy with us otherwise. Eating pineapples for the dragon. Yeah. <laughs> dragon eaches pineapples. Film at 11. Eaches? Eaches. Yes, he, he eaches. That's what he do. Uh, yes, go over here. We still got... We're still running out of food. This isn't good. I could do with, like, one more habitable planet. That would be great. I'd be I'd be happy with that. Construction oh. complete. Oh. Commander Shepard served the Empire for 54 years and retired at the age of 82. Well, wow. okay, I forget these guys aren't as long lived as my uh, first um my first lot. So we're gonna need a new commander, aren't we? Oh wait, official? We have got we've got a spare official. Ah! All the things. Right, what do you do? Experience gain. Infiltration speed. That sounds fun. Inflation growth. Ship build speed. Oh, we're having you. Uh I'm not sure what use we can actually put you to, but uh we're we're having you. He needs to be a counselor. Huh. Okay, so. Oh, happiness minus five, minerals. That'll be fine. That'll put, we'll put that one on the back burner. 92, the state pension age will get pushed back some more. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yes, we need another commander for sure. Military fleet effects, uh, army damage, hull regen and armor regen. That's good. I like that. Uh, right, so hang on a minute. That's got a dude. That's got a dude. That does not have a dude. And now we're out of, uh, now we're out of uh, commanders. Oh, there we go. That's fine. Uh, well, okay. We're still having trouble with the dragon. No surprise there. Yes, a common frame of reference between space hedgehogs and space dragon. I'm not surprised. It's been very patient. Okay. How mysterious. Uh, Shepard wants to name a new character. Do you, per chance, want to call it Shepard and do you want to be a commander? Because then you'll be Commander Shepard. Am I, am I, um, am I following? <laughs> is, is, is my line of thought about right? Commander Shepard works. There you go. Well, I can't call him Commander Shepard because then he'd be Commander, commander Shepard, which would be uh, quite funny. I suppose it could be Commander Shepard. Commander Shepard, why not? Shepard. Hey, Wolf Warrior, how's it going? 
Commander Shepard Jr. <laughs> yeah, could be. Commander Shepard the second. There you go. Yeah, that works. Hey. Uh, idle leaders. Yes, I do, but that's okay. I like having spare ones around. It's useful. Uh, right. I've got a science ship that's napping. Why is it napping? And I've got a construction ship that's napping, which is over here. Okay. This is great. We solved the influence problem. Now we're just starving. Um, did I not put some more? I'm sure I put some... Um... Oh, yeah, we can have star holds now. i got to remember that. Damn. Right, hang on. Let's uh, Let's focus. Politicians that do nothing get paid for it to tell. <laughs> uh, it's funny because it's true. Um, okay, do you know what? We have a temple here. Do I, do I not have the ability to make... I don't have a food producing option here, which worries me slightly. Um... No, have I got no way of producing my own food other than the the district? It looks like it. That's kind of weird. Huh. Uh, this is all, like, iffy. <laughs> Have they just occupied? Uh, I don't know what I would do with spare officials. I suppose they could run places, I suppose, couldn't they? Uh, we haven't actually got anyone running the capital at the moment. Who's... who's, uh... Who's spare here? Yeah, do it. Can we filter by officials? Here we go. No, officials. Oh, that's weird. Yeah, oh! My leaders. There we go. That makes sense. Uh, hmm... Oh, he's the Minister of State. Um, he's militaristic. Okay. I still not entirely like. I keep forgetting, uh, like what multiple roles we can give people. So you have like, um, if somebody's running a planet, can they still run a star, uh, run a science vessel, and and stuff like that? I wonder if any of these th things are useful for uh, governing things. Right, he's Minister of State, so he's doing stuff. Hackbid Brittle Shoulder. I mean, he doesn't have anything particularly useful going on on that front. That's military. That's military. I'm not really sure what to do with them. Oh, Sector Governor. Here we go. Planet Governor. Army build speed. Oh, he is like all in with the military stuff. Just council roles? Oh, okay. Well, I mean, if I do that, does that mean he is now... Oh, right, okay, so he can do that and be the Minister of Defense. Okay, so he was already in charge of something. Okay. Um... I don't know, let's do that. He has no particular skills, but, you know, it'll be fine. Councillors can perform leader jobs at the same time, except the primary ruler. Otherwise, leaders do one job. Oh, okay. Oh, that's something else. Um, now you're still excavating. You're still in the void. Now those are tropical worlds. Where they? We're not going to want tropical worlds. Oh, okay. What have we got? Uh, prosperity. Uh, oh wait, no. Are we? Oh, okay. Standard construction templates? That sounds fun. Uh, creative collectives. Let's do that. There we go. Good stuff. Construction complete. Excellent. The Empire doth expand. Right, okay, you best, uh... 
hoover up the resources there. That'd be a good idea. Right, still got a slight food deficit. That's not great. There's still a bunch of things we need to be investigating, but all my, all my, most of my science people are just occupied one way or the other. Uh, that's another world we don't like. What is, what is my world preference? I actually can't remember. Was it Tundra? I think it was a Tundra world. Construction complete. It always worries me when it goes quiet. Detected. Ooh. Wreckage of an archaic spaceship with an unusual design. We're not quite sure how the propulsion system works. Where is that? Yeah, research that shit. We're always interested in propulsion. Mining station. Okay, good stuff. I really want that science ship back because I, I, I could use a science ship for randomly discovering shit, but uh, alas, he's still in the void for a while. Oh, hello. Uh, prosperity will make your costs more efficient. Oh, okay, that's cool. Took on the nearby empire's guaranteed planets. Nice. Uh, greetings, patron. We have come up with a gorgeous new type of architecture. Specifically tuned to improve crowd's understanding of one another. A ministry of culture. Okay. Would you like to purchase this building? Access to a ministry of culture with the following empire effects. Culture worker jobs plus three. Unity from jobs plus 15. That sounds good. 2000? That sounds really good, actually. What about the Ministry of Truth? That's when I have to start building precincts everywhere. That's that's what we have to... That, that's when we start worrying about the Ministry of Truth. Uh, it's a deal. Why not? I haven't got any room to build one of those right now, but, you know, I'm sure it will happen eventually. Uh, archaic ship of unusual design. Is that... Uh, back here again? Yeah, it is. Okay. Sure. Solar sails. Why not? I'm sure nothing bad will come of it. Would be a good capital building? Yeah, I haven't got any room left in the capital building. Alas. Uh, capital planet, even. Building or upgrading your planetary administration. I mean, that's as, that's as good as it gets. I could replace one of the temples with it, to be honest. I mean, do I really need two temples? Yeah, fuck okay, it, let's do that. Right, let's uh, check in here. What's that telling me? Oh, migrating pops, okay, that's fine. Uh, oh, okay, right. This needs uh, this needs some attention. I moved to rename the Minister of State to the Minister of Truth. <laughs> oh, that's the uh, that's the roles, isn't it? Uh, or is it the government? Oh yeah, because we can we can rename all of these, can't we? Minister to the Minister of State, the Minister of Truth. Uh. Okay. Minister of Truth. There we go. I'll look at that later and I'm like, what the hell does that mean? <laughs> I'm do a Helldivers Empire in Solaris. Yeah, isn't there, isn't there a bunch of mods for it, I think? Um, I'm sure someone said last time around there's like a bunch of mods that you can, you can do crazy things with. Right, that needs upgrading. Uh, yes, more food, Vicar. God, we're at minus 12 food now. This is not... This is not good. Um... Right, we got 
Uh, yeah, I can't build anywhere to, to create food, which is interesting. Hmm. What should we put in here? Um, I'm still not entirely sure what is the best... I just randomly build stuff. I'm not entirely sure what the best options are, I'll be brutally honest. Um, Hollow theatres? Oh yeah, Hollow theatres and amenities. Yeah, we like that. Okay. Um, we don't have a research lab here either. Also, we should probably build some more districts. That's probably a good idea. Yeah, see, now we've got everything balanced out except the food, which isn't great. Oh, it was math, was it? Yeah, I, rem I remember somebody said there's like a there's like a, a Helldivers overhaul for this, which I think would just be kind of nutty. Uh, what are you doing? Okay, you are looking at anomalies. That's good. Oh, hello. Message in a bottle. Wreckage of an archaic spaceship of unusual design. Large sails. It uses solar sails. Oh, it's it's Eldar, clearly. Pointy eared jossers. Uh right, have we not got special project? Oh, he's complete. asleep. Oh. Secrets of the Ute. We've managed to recreate the cleansing process that the Ute would use to prepare their hatchery worlds. It does have some concerning short-term effects on the biosphere, but once it recovers, the planet should be more than suitable to our needs. Hello! Did we just get pre free terraforming? Check the planet for any local bonuses. A lot depends on what districts you can build. Specialize as much as you can. Ah, oh, okay. A year has passed since I wrote my notes, yeah. So what do we got here? Expertise New Worlds trait, granting the following effects. Planetary decision unlocked. Initiate Ute cleansing process. Technology gained atmospheric filtering. Tech process gained Ute astronomical interferometer. We need to experiment on a planet. Technology discovered. That's pretty baller. That is that is pretty baller. Right, let's can we can we pick on a planet here? Oh. Oh wait, we can't okay, so we can't we can't make any planetary decisions unless we colonize it. Is that right? Right, so it has to be a it has to be a, a colon right, so that's gonna be awkward. Because none of these planets are remotely like remotely inhabitable for us. Um but then I'm wondering if we colonized it and then launched the terraforming, would that make it better, I guess? Check what it does on one of your colonized planets? Oh, that's a good point. Just make sure I don't actually launch it, because that would be very bad. Oh, wow. There's a, there's a bunch of things here. Okay. Ute cleansing process. Adds 50 devastation. Okay, that's that doesn't feel that doesn't feel efficient. <laughs> so it adds ten percent habitability, but it devastates half the planet. Um, I feel that's not a great trade-off. Interesting. But not a great trade-off. Oh well. If you terraform it, we'll wipe out the manifesti. Yeah, no, it was just an accident. It was just a it was a rounding error. Yeah. Alright, sleepy construction ship, what are you doing? Uh wait, why is this why is this unsurveyed? Why did you skip this? Why did you skip that? Why did you skip this unpronounceable system? Bunga drunga drunga row world. I can't fucking pronounce that. All right, you finish off what you're doing there, and then we need to take that because I can't go anywhere now. That's a bit rubbish. Who's this? 
Oh, that's the Ryogan Coalition. Okay, that's this lot over here, I think, isn't it? Yeah. I'm not sure if they're a big fan. Uh, habitability plus five. Good, we didn't have to blow anything up for that, too. That works. Ah, now, this is the other half of it. Ute Astronomical... Ast Astronomical Interferometer. They're obsessed with the idea of finding sentient species. Yet refusing to accept they were not alone. Okay, I'm gathering the Ute are a bit fucking mad. Uh, unlock Starbase Building. Sensor range plus 7, ship high plane detection range plus 14. That sounds nice. That sounds pretty good. Um... Though, that's going to take me 470 months. So maybe we'll hold off on that just for a little bit. Yeah, that's that's going to lock down my technology tree for, for 470 months. I'm going to research something that's a little bit closer in grasp beforehand. This also ups our fleet command limit uh, and unlocks fleet supremacy. That's good. Hang on, what is this? Fleet Academy. Naval Logistics. Okay, I'm going to go for that because it's cheap. Uh, Wait, what? Hang on. Why did it say that my tech... Oh, we're working on that. Hang on a minute. Uh, We're still working on the... Um... Actually, no, I'm now very puzzled. Okay, I don't know what happened there. I think it got confused. But I know I got confused. Because now all my technology things are, uh, are actually filled up, even though... I think it was because we were using the research tree for the something else. Slightly puzzled. Slightly puzzled. Just got real. Tumbling to the center of the impact zone. An anchor point of a surface to orbit tether. Uh, oh dear. They used a giant string to accidentally drop a rock on themselves. That's unfortunate. Anti-gravity engineering. Nice. Nice. Don't mind if I do. Uh, all right, you're still surviving. Wait. Oh, you're still surviving. That's fine. More experienced crews are good. Yeah, that'll be the next pick. That'll be the next pick, I think. Survey complete. Construction complete. Right, we have a sleepy science vessel. Okay, sleepy science vessel. It's a special project. Translate alien mural. I should look and see some of these other projects we've got floating around, to be honest. Translate alien mural halted. Did we just forget about that? I think we did. Uh, yeah, go have a look at that. Why not? The majority themselves. Ah, ah yes, yes. They, they, they had the uh, yes. You had the moon drop on them, didn't they? Didn't they? Yeah, I remember that. Never actually played that game, but I know somebody ended up with a moon dropped on them, which is not what you want, really. Um. Oh wait, did we upgrade any of our stations? Because. I think we can now. So I can have seven star bases now. Okay, this is good. So that's a star base. That's a shipyard. Wait, where's that? Okay, that's there. Oh, wait. We, we didn't even put any buildings in that one. God damn. Okay. Uh, what should we do here? Target uplink computer. Easier for the star basic and targeting solutions. Interesting. Um, you could whack another shipyard in there, to be honest. For now. Right, so do you have access to star holds now? Uh, maybe we should turn home base into a star hold. That sounds like a good idea. 500? Yeah, go for it.
No border gore yet. That's very true. Have the option for habitats. Uh, yeah, because I think we researched habitats and then we never actually used them last time. Um, I think we had the tech, but I never actually survey used it. Complete. Okay, you have finished the survey. Are you doing anything else? No? Right. Start digging there, then. Oh, it's that's on my empire. You won't start digging, then. Um... Uh, are any of my ships sleepy? It's sleepy, oh yeah, no. Oh, they're sleepy on the other side of the galaxy, that's not good. The fumes lie thick. The planet, I'm not gonna try and pronounce this, is a toxic wasteland. But it has not always been so. Okay, a robot assembly plant. Ooh, okay. A cautionary tale. Here we go. Adds the Fallen Robotic Society modifier to I can't pronounce that to save my life. Uh, somebody gains Expertise Propulsion 2 trait. Honestly, I think we need to put this Battle Axe guy in charge of something, because I think he's got all kinds of skills now. Uh, right. Okay, so... Where are we? Right, if you're not doing anything, could you just build an outpost there? That's great. Oh, you're all the way down there. Never mind. Uh, well, I do. I, I actually I managed to divert the science vessel from here, so that wasn't very smart. That's fine. This is fine. We'll we'll go this way. <laughs> I think that way some that way might be more sensible. Who calls void? Actually, what's that? Oh, that's the mega structure. We have no hope of, uh, of repairing yet. I knew that. I didn't know that. Right. Construction complete. Uh, en Endra what? Honestly, the bloody names of some of these systems are amazing. And that fact, there's no hope for me to actually pronounce them. What was that noise? Oh, 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 I mean, is that like, hello in rock person? What the fuck was that? <laughs> that sounded like the start of a Disney movie or something. What the hell? Uh, form non-aggression pact. Okay, so the Bin Penchan really like us. I mean, why, why not? They're on the other side of the frickin' map, so I suppose... Yeah. I guess because our... Our, um, our societies are rel relatively similar, I guess? Sure. Sure, that's fine. But next time around, don't open communications with crazy monkey noises, because it was slightly worrying. We're really having a problem with the food issue here. This is not good. Need to fix that. Gotta have a think how to fix the food. Oh. The truth of roars. Oh, here we go. Our linguists report an astounding breakthrough. They transposed the spectral map of its corporeal energy... Corporal? Okay. Energy emissions to acoustic waveforms. Sorry, I have a very itchy nose. Dragon was speaking our language, but in a di different medium. Nice! Oh, he's he's dissing us. Okay. Don't be a non-carbon life formist. Yeah. <laughs> okay, when we're ready. But we are ready. The event incoming dragon speak happens. Hello. Incoming dragon speak. The dragon launches into a lengthy diatribe about the wisdom it has accumulated over the eons. I mean, talked down by a dragon. Our still pitiful knowledge of the fundamentals of the universe. Young and reckless, unworthy of this quest at present. Okay, alas, we shall strive to be better. The dragon will approach us when it is ready. There you go. We have a dragon mentor. That's that's glorious. 
What's the worst that could happen? Um. Oh no, we still can't uh, uh, excavate that yet. God damn it. Can't remember the exact number. Oh, ascension, ascension perks. Oh, okay. Uh, could you hurry up and? What are you doing? Are you actually surveying this, or are you just being weird? Oh, you're surveying. Okay. Ping. What have we got here? Ah, relic activation. I've forgotten all about this. Uh, huge cryocore. Um, ship upkeep minus twenty. I fuck it. May as well. Also, I have a shit ton of artifacts as well. Uh, proclaim religious revelation. Could be funny. Uh, celebrate diversity. I don't know. I'm gonna, I'm gonna mess around with those yet. Survey complete. Okay, good. Now we expand in this direction. Yeah, the the way the uh, Ute terraform thing sounds like a very bad way of going about it. I gotta say, sounds sounds a bit complete. sounds a bit final. <laughs> you can terraform it, but only after we've destroyed it a lot. Minus nineteen food. This is not good. This is very very not good. Um. Uh, Bruce Roach Crusher the Mogul has retired at eighty three. Uh, I can only assume that's left a, uh, a hill somewhere. Um, what is that? Empire affects his counselor. Oh, yeah, that doesn't look good. Food from jobs! We need this guy! Gun did common might! He makes food happen! Uh, okay, Rich Mogul. Uh, what, 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 uh, what do you want to name somebody? I need to put that guy in charge. Uh, no, government. Government's what I'm looking for. Yeah, there we go. Food. Pop growth. Oh yeah, he's got population growth. That's that's good as well. Drake. The rest is the same. Oh, Drake. Roach Crusher. Okay, hang on. Drake Roach. Oh, Jesus Christ. Will that even fit? Let's let's do this guy. Uh. Right. Let's try this again. Drake Roach. Hang on a minute. It might have fitted. It might have fitted. I can't spell either. Doesn't help. Uh, Drake Road Crusher, the Mogul. There we go. Uh, any other redemptions available? Uh, ye yep, we've got an official. We have uh, two commanders, and we have one. One scientist. Scientist? Okay. Uh, that'll be this guy. Who's actually one of the... Uh... Wow. I think I might have to put this guy in charge of science. If he isn't already. He is head of research. That's even better. Perils of having cat treats on my desk. I almost hit a handful of dreamies thinking they were peanuts. Oh, God! Oh, God, no. Ah! Oh. Dreamies are terrible, greasy things. I only know this because I, I picked them up. I don't eat them, obviously. Uh, but, uh, hello, burn pies! I can't remember if you were here earlier, but welcome. Ayatollah of digging a hole. <laughs> that sounds like, that sounds like that should be a job description. But I like it. 
That sounds like that sounds like that needs to be a job description rather than Oh you were around earlier. Sorry, this game melts my brain as much as I enjoy it. I I, I short term recall doesn't doesn't help much. <laughs> Long term recall doesn't help much. I almost think we should rename Grand Shoveler into the Ayatollah of Digging Hollow because that would just be funny. I don't know if it would actually fit, but that feels <laughs> Or maybe even the Minister of Defense, because a hedgehog would dig a hole. That that would be that would be quite funny. Oh, I don't know. That's, I I quite like that though. That's amusing. I may have to reuse that reuse that at some point. Uh oh. Okay, we have spaces here. Um, I don't think I want to upgrade everything to a star hold, but what would be useful? I support. That was my reasoning. Very apt for hogs of the hedge. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Oh, the cat gets dreamies as a reward for taking his inhaler, so the dreamies live on the desk. Ah, okay. Uh, crew quarters? What does crew quarters do? Oh, reduces the logistical burden on fleets that are berthed there. Okay. Communications jammer? Disruption field generator? Ooh. Shield hit points minus 20%. That's interesting. Um, what do anchorages do again? Naval capacity plus four. Okay. Hmm. Dig a tunnel. Dig a dig a tunnel. We're done. We dig another tunnel. Exactly. Oh, collection range plus one. Okay, I still haven't quite figured that one out. Uh, I don't know, we'll come back to that. Yeah, well, I'm kind of, I'm kind of building up the, the home base into something nifty. That's now a star hold, which means it's quite, uh, it's quite lodged. Wait, did I put a trade hub in there? I don't remember putting a trade hub in there. Maybe I was there already. Oh no, it's still going, it's still going. Right, still haven't got any food. Still having a slight issue with the whole food thing. Home station starts with those. That makes sense. Uh, right, you guys actually... You're having a nap. Why are you having a nap? Project already has sufficient nearby ships. What? Oh, that's you doing it. Okay, never mind. That's confusing. I could have sworn that said no orders for a second there. All right. Project complete. Uh, science officer Bill Nye Atom Crusher has managed to partially translate the alien mural. Not the alien mural, that's something else. Okay. Splendid. What else we get? A thousand engineering research. Don't mind if I do. Right, and then... Uh, you're not doing anything remotely interesting. Let's head in that direction. Um, it's kind of annoying this bit doesn't actually link up here. Um, but yeah. Can we show you your planets? Ah, okay, give me a second. Uh, do, 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 do. Right, so we have the capital, which has, uh, it's only got three agriculture districts built in there, which is a bit awkward. Um, I did build some more somewhere else. What did I? What did I build? I don't know if you can give the. I don't know if you can give the. Um, oh, ascension tier. Oh, colony designation. Ah, here we go. Ascension tier one. What does that mean? Mm -hmm. Oh, population tab. Okay. Uh, this is a lot of buttons. Workers, the wheat icon. Ah, wheat icon, yes. Prioritize jobs using population chip. Oh, 
Click to toggle if this job is favorited. Okay. Right, so let's have a look. Oop, that's a, let's have a look at some of the others. It says five out of six. Does that mean we could build some... Why does it say five out of six? Oh, that's maximum. Okay. That's zero out of six, because... Reasons, because this has a massive deficit for some reason. Why does this place have a massive food deficit? <sighs> yeah, this is a minus 18 food. I'm not quite sure what's going on here. Uh, no, the dragon event is not active currently. Yeah, stability's not great either. Low immunities and crime. Uh, ah! Hollow theaters. That might help a little bit. Uh, yeah, I could put two more districts on here, but there's, there's a couple of blockers I can't clear, so that's, that's a bugger. Whoops. And... Oh, we can build another one here. Oh, wait, no, we're actually in the middle of... We are actually in the middle of building a bunch of stuff here, so that's, uh... Uh, maybe another agriculture... No, wait, that is the agriculture district that we're actually building. Okay, that's fine. That'll take a little while. It'll be fine, probably. Initiating communications. Oh, yeah. Who with? Every time they call us up, they're going to be making that noise. I have now discovered. Every time the Bin Penchan Sovereignty pick up the phone, <laughs> they commence communications by going, oh, 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 oh. Okay, sure. Uh, research agreement, I don't see why not. That seems like a fairly even exchange. Sure. You crazy shouty people. Uh, thanks for the hydrate, Math. Yes, I, I'm, I'm, I need to drink a bit more. <sighs> Turns Hamster of Wrath back into a floating head. I am a floating head, it's very true. <laughs> Just call a free number. Oh, eight. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> what the fuck? That's just... Oh, there's something else. Now what do I want to do? It's a slightly different arrangement. Okay. These guys love us. The 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 squeaky guys love us. Okay. Uh, commercial pact. Uh, we do better out of that than they do. Sure. Sure. Be, be my friend, crazy shouty people. Oh, hello. What was that? That was a... What was that? That was a... That was a... You're being attacked alarm. That then disappeared. What happened there? Did I lose somebody? Uh... I don't quite know what happened there. That was definitely a uh, hostile something or another alert, but it, it didn't actually happen long enough. Something arrived just as I was leaving. Maybe it was this. Maybe it was a space-born amoeba? I don't know. Have I just lost a ship? I would have thought it would have told me. I don't think so. Yeah, that was weird. Initiating communications. That was very weird. Now it sounds like they're uh, they're constipated. Uh, just building a district doesn't fix the problem on its own. Oh, okay. 
Uh, migra right, would it be a good idea to do a migration treaty, or would that actually cause more problems than it would solve? Or is there any downside to this? I don't think there's a downside to it. We're definitely making friends with the crazy rock people. Get more workers? Okay. See what happens. Yeah, something definitely tried to have a go at us there, and then it vanished. I don't know what that was about. Technology discovered. Oh, totally good. What we got? Uh, tile blockers. Good stuff. Right, new research. Oh my word. Uh, oh, that's annoying. We haven't got the... Uh... Ah, damn it. We, we lost the um, Fleet Academy thing. That's not an option. Bollocks. That's kind of irritating. But okay, that's fine. Ah! Orbital ring building. Orbital filing system. Wait. I can't build rings yet, can I? I'm so confused. Are you xenophile? Yes. Or xenophobic? No. Or undecided? Uh, I don't think we're... Are we, I don't think we're xenophiles. I think we're undecided. Yeah, but that unlocks orbital ring building. Do I actually know how to make... Also, it needs it needs 300 crystals. I don't actually think we've got the crystal... We haven't got the crystal uh, harvesting ability yet. No, we haven't. So there's not much point... Not much point in getting that, because we won't be able to build it. Uh, Starbase cap might not be a bad idea. Or ground defense planning. Hmm. It'll be gone if you don't pick it. Oh, that's a bit sucky. Well, we can't build it. I don't see... I, I think it's a bit daft spending 64 months researching something which we then can't actually build. That seems a little bit daft. Uh, Archeo studies. Ancient refinery. Oh, no. Ancient refinery might not be a bad idea. Hmm. Don't know. I'm not sure. Naval capacity from soldier jobs. Yeah, I don't know. That's a bit of a tricky one. Um... I mean, starbase cap might not be a bad idea, actually. I don't think any any of these actually unlocks anything else down the path. I mean, ancient refinery, my special. Yeah, I think I think starbase cap's the best one. I'm definitely leaning that way myself. Right, let's have a quick look at our our scientist person who's in charge because he's got a stupid number of bonuses right now. That is none of the buttons I want. That's the button I want. Yeah, look at our head of research. Expertise and propulsion. Uh, research speed, new worlds. Research speed plus six percent. Uh, and leader experience gain plus five percent. He's an absolute unit. That's ridiculous. No wonder that's all working out. Right, you appear to be uh, not. Oh, holy crap! We found a. Uh, uh, habitable world. Go forth and steal it. I mean, lawfully claim it. Wait, hang on a second. Why have all these planets suddenly flipped to being habitable? <gasps> oh! Wait, 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 wait. We can... Uh, we can colonize these with the rock people. <laughs> Because of the migrant, Right, so could we potentially... Wait, hold on a second. Hold the phone. We could actually colonize it with Bin Pencha. This will be useful. That's super useful. Okay. That works in my favor. Oh... 
Okay then, so let's... Uh, where would be a good one to start? Oh wait, we've got like another planet already here. That's quite handy. There's one there. And then you to terraform them? No, we don't need to you to terraform it. It's 100% compatible with a bin pencher. So, yeah. I think I'm going to nick this one at the back here. What's this? That's an ocean world. Okay. Huh. Well, that was unexpectedly handy. That might solve our food problem. Yeah, but it'll be it'll be under uh, under our control though. So, because we've got we've got bin pencher pops, so that should be fine. Think. Construction complete. We're having more pops to feed. Yeah, but we can build more like uh, districts and stuff. It also entirely depend on what the actual planet discovered. is comprised of. I think. Oh, what have we maxed out on? Artifacts. Right. What can we use these for? Um. Not sure. Yeah, well, that's actually really handy. That's actually super handy. Survey complete. That's what happens when you're nice to rock people, apparently. Uh oh! Oh wait, did I miss a research option? I did. Okay. Okay. Uh. Oh, hang on, I've got an itchy ear. Hang on a second. Ah. Sweaty ears, not good. Um, modular engineering. Starbase building? Or, okay, I think we should probably do one of these uh, resource exploitation things. Because uh, we've got some rare crystals, haven't we? <clears throat> or do we only have, like, one? Ah, rare crystals. Yeah, there we go. Rare crystal mining. Rare crystal mining. Oh, uh, that's row. Rare crystals. Yeah, I actually legit think that the crystal mines are a good shout, because then we can exploit the crystal resource. Populate with foreign species so I can destroy them in the process of making it more habitable for the gentry. Yeah, no, I feel that would be unpleasant if I did that. <laughs> Thanks for helping us out with this whole colonization effort. Uh, now we're going to wreck the planet you're on. Yeah. Doesn't doesn't feel good, man. I should be harvesting all of these as well, actually. Or harvesting, uh, mining them. Uh, yep, you can't do that. Yep, that's fine. You are just sat there. Oh, wait, he's come back. We've got a science ship back. That's good. Okay, we've uh, got the uh, artist lot. Right, what's going on here? Each district increases empire size by default of 0.5. Because you have districts we're not actually using. Oh, okay. We see, last time around, everyone said I should build the districts first. Because last time around, I didn't build any districts, and I got in trouble later on. And I, I thought building districts was a good idea. War crimes are only war crimes if you're caught. It's very true. Right, here follows the latest new letter to all our patrons. Nothing much has been produced to the Enclave. A deep melancholy! Great. Rekindle their interest in the material plane. Uh, 500 energy, 550 influence. I mean, we could afford that. We wish to unsubscribe from the newsletter. That's funny as hell. Sure, sure, we can we can afford that. Yeah, I, I gotta say the the whole like planet management and the the building bits is probably probably one of my weak spots, honestly. I kind of fog over a little bit. <laughs> right, we don't want to go investigate there because that's got angry, angry, angry stuff over there. So let's not worry about that. Um, let's go over there, maybe? Let's 
star patterns. Latest sensory readings from Darwin shows the star pulsating regularly. Science officer Ayatollah of Diggin Holler. <laughs> uh. Something strange is happening to the galaxy stars. Oh. We must get to the bottom of this. It was a malfunction. Yeah, we definitely get to the bottom of that. Log updated. Special project. Pulsating stars. Alright, where is that? That is. Oh, here? I'm nowhere near there, though. That's interesting. How I figured that one out while not being there, I'm not really sure. But, uh, the pass. Yeah, yeah, so, so clearly what I've done, I haven't built enough, uh food districts, which is why I thought if I nobble another, uh, at least one other planet, I can maybe turn that into, into something food production related. Maybe. Construction. <laughs> the Thug Med. What a great, what a great name for a ship. <laughs> the Thug Med. Right, what are you doing? You're just... Okay, you're investigating thing. Oh dear! Uh, Dr. Hegeman has retired at the age of 92. I think he was actually pretty good as well, which is really annoying. He had, he had all the, uh, he had all the modifiers. I can't find my government tab. There it is. Uh, oh, okay. That also means one of our, uh, uh, science ships is now, uh, devoid of a person. Right, we've got to find a new one. You've built food districts, but not enough pops to work them yet. Ah, okay. Well, hopefully the migration thing will help with that. Stella Groud Strongbrow. Okay. Uh, archaeology excavation speed. That's nice. Uh, statecraft. Archaeology skill. Archaeology excavation. Hmm. Okay, maybe excavation speed. Right. And then we got to find the science ship that is now sitting there not doing anything because it doesn't have anyone in it. There we go. But it turns out all my science ships appear to be asleep, which is not good. Uh, all right, that's building a star base. That's fine. Uh, you literally aren't doing anything. Right, is there a project we can sick you on that's local? No, it doesn't look like it. In which case, um, let's send you in this direction. Oh, Quinlist, what do you want to rename? The archaeologist scientist. Okay. Uh, that's the one we literally just got, which is this chap. What do you wish him to be named as? Scipio Excavators. Is, is that ex excavator? Yeah, yeah. I was, I was picking up what you're putting down. Love it. There we go. Doctor Jones. It belongs in a museum! Yeah. Wait, why is my construction ship out there? Oh, it's building a starbase. Okay. I'm like, huh? Right. Uh, Thugmed, you're not doing anything. Why are you not doing anything, Thugmed? Because you can go and build stuff. Go, go do things. There you go. Oh, wait, hold on. What's this? That noise, man. Form a defensive pact. Uh, we would not want to drag your empire into a conflict if it's clear we would benefit from joining together against possible threats. I'm tempted to turn that one down. Uh, because... That could be a problem. 
Yeah, we haven't got... Uh, I actually, I can build another fleet, actually. I should do that. We've already got, like, three... Our, our naval capacity is not, like, amazing. Um... And he's over there, so he's a bit of a distance away. I think I'll decline that one. How, how much do they like us now? I'm actually intrigued. 318 plus. Yeah, they, they like us. They like us a lot. Uh, The robot's already just coming around to it because we're actually... Oh, they're at war. Oh. At war with unidentified empire. Interesting. So it's not the Fossian Shard. So there's got to be another empire here. Interesting. Unless we can't have a look at that part of the universe because uh, the Kiruan Empire are here and they they don't want us to go exploring. So that's a little awkward. Um, how are the Kiruanites? Uh, let's have a look, see. Minus 113. They're not they're not that happy with us. <laughs> Which is fine. They're clearly a bit extreme for our liking. Yeah, this is gonna give us quite a big planet planet advantage here because of the uh Construction complete. What's it? Emigration treaty. That's actually quite useful. Right, build another fleet. I can build another fleet. Got enough room. Right. Uh, or reinforce one of my fleets I've already got. That might be a pretty good idea too. Oh, yeah, my command limit's now 30. That's good. Uh see where's that gonna what's that gonna bring me to actually? Uh six twelve That'd be fine. Alright. Uh reinforce Reinforce Okay, these guys are fairly well rounded, so that's okay. This is fine. Where does that leave us? I'm oh, still 75 out of 82 because we haven't actually built them yet. Okay, that makes sense. Construction complete. Ah, uh, I don't think it's moved. I'll be honest with you. I don't actually think it's moved. They they feel exactly the same way. <laughs> Possibly because we're slightly easier going um, religious people and they're all a bit, they're a little bit on the extreme side, maybe. Maybe that's got something to do with it. Uh, hmm. Should we nick that system for comedy value? Or should we focus down here? I'm not sure. Actually, we haven't surveyed down here. Um, hmm. The name of that black hole. Melancholy Peace. Yeah. Oh, okay. There's the artisan troop. There, there, there. I was like, I didn't know where the hell they were. Yeah, there's some there's some great names. There are some great names. Uh, I should expand this way a little bit. Catholics versus Protestants. Yeah, it could be. Could be. Right, where are you going? Oh, okay, you're surveying. Okay, that's fine. Uh, you're not doing anything. Why are the peas melancholy? I've got no idea. Yeah, so that makes me think there's definitely another empire here. Would they be at war with the Swalfins? I'm wondering. Hey, Robot Battletoaster, thank you very much for the tier one sub. Welcome, welcome, hope you're doing very well. Let me give you a quick shout out there. 
I don't know what the temperature is. I've got a fan on at the moment for that very reason. Thank you very much. And yes, uh, Robotic Battle Toaster, well, Battle Lamb and Bamboozle Ballet, we usually uh, form the Chaos Collab uh, on a Tuesday night. Yes, uh, but go check out Toaster. Got the AC on. You're in full plate, you lunatic. Dude, you were having symptoms of heat stroke yesterday. You should not be wearing full plate today, you madman. Make sure you keep your fluids up. Good lord. What temperature is it? Hang on, let me consult, let me consult the holy uh, temperature button. What does, what does the phone say? Fuck me! It's 22 degrees out there. Wow. That's warm. Yeah, I need to hydrate a bit more myself. It'll be fine, maybe. Yeah. Yeah, well, he wasn't very well last night, and today he's wearing plate mail because he, he apparently has no sense of self preservation. Uh, yeah, my break's coming up soon. Actually, I'm gonna I'm gonna top up both of my both of my drinking vessels need topping up. So uh, that that will be a a port of call very soon for content. Yeah, it's it's quite difficult to make content if you're in A uh, and E. Uh, I gotta be honest. Uh, the Grand Shoveler, Sanic the Hedgehog, has retired at 87. God damn. OG ruler there. Gone. Disappeared. Which means I don't have a... I don't actually have... We're going to have to hold the vote now. Oh, God. It'll be all good. Well, fair enough. Uh, I can only assume you are feeling better today, then. Just noticed we've got all these uh, up-to-date fleets, and they're sitting at home when the best place for them is probably, like, here somewhere. So I think if there were to be an attack, that is probably the direction it's going to come from. Time for a regime change, apparently. Is that colony vessel actually on its way? Yeah, it is. Okay, good. Wait, what are the bin... Oh, hang on a minute. Let's have a look at the... Uh... Uh, Empire, Galaxy, um, well, oh, Galaxy, there you go. Oh! Wow, okay, apparently there's there's an awful lot of things we have not discovered yet. Uh, I haven't actually had a look at the Galaxy species, this is hilarious. Okay. So apparently we have Epi Eagle. That's hilarious, because they're birds. Ep Epi Eagle? I don't know how, I don't, I no idea. Uh, Vagurid, which is, uh, Necroids, lovely. Thillions? Oh, look at little Dinky Salamander Man! With his little, little hands and his little robe. Oh. Very strong. Apparently they're very strong. That's quite funny, don't mess with those. Uh, Salonakirid, okay, yeah, we've, we've met them. They're, uh, they're that lot over there, here somewhere. Siribithithithi. No idea. Weird dude. Shatessian. Lithoid. Okay. Sitmachian. Wow, they they look amazing. Ceralian. That's a plant. I hope the cute salamanders are determined exterminators. I think they might be... It says they don't have a home planet, so maybe they've got like a... A station or something? I'm, I'm, I'm not entirely sure. Uh, Runapoid. Great. San Sadamajan, which is a plantoid. It that appears to be a cross between a bramble and a dragon. That is something I don't want to get in the end of. Runapoid. Ryogan, we know. They're the angry looking space vampire lot. Uh, the racket are the, um, caravanners. Puinese. Okay, they're aquatic. Prassian, uh, that's the artist lot. That's the melodic hub. Lunapoids. Lominitan, okay. He, Kilocan, Kian, Jadian, Fossian, Falanese, Bipensha. Not seeing any dolphins! Not seeing any dolphins yet, which is. They might be the Hidden Empire. The Hidden Dolphin Empire. 
Yeah, actually, complete. That, that'd be great just to design a, 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 a race that is as cute as possible, but is also the most dangerous. <laughs> that, would be, that would be pretty epic. Construction complete. Oh shit, I just... What did you just build there? He just built a thing. Oh, research station. Okay, that's good. I literally just told him to go somewhere else just as he finished it. Uh, is that my new fleet? No, that's an old fleet. Oh, okay, I'm just over the cap. Okay, that's fine. The Kiani are kind of like that. Yeah, I suppose they are. I, it would make me chuckle if the melodic hub are actually uh, at war with the um, the Swalfins. That would be quite funny. Or maybe not. I don't know. Oh, what's this? Open council position. Oh yeah, we haven't got a minister of truth. God damn. Um, what have we got here? Uh, Hackvid battle shoulder. Okay. Oh, somebody got voted in. Oh, unbelievable! Roach Mogul? What the hell? So, so just, just so you know, Roach Mogul has terminal main character syndrome because now he's just been voted the leader of the bloody thing. The Swalfins? Where? I don't know. I think they might be the, the, the Hidden Empire. Hey, Comifyla, what? A camera stream? Yes, I've started using a camera. All my sins. But welcome, Kirby Fire. I hope you're doing well. Right, who would be a good choice here? Uh, council agenda speed. Minerals from jobs. Uh, that's planet, Governor. Um, I guess council agenda speeds might be a good idea. There we go. Now we've actually got a Minister of Truth now, where we didn't have before. I'm still chuckling over the Ayatollah of Digging Hola. That's, that's, that's still my favourite so far. Once he retires, I'm going to make that a job position, because I think that's funny. Uh, what are you doing? You're sleepy. Why are you sleepy? Where are you sleepy? You're sleepy there. Why? Go, claim. Expand. This is good. I wonder if I should... Should I do, like, a quick, like, run up here and claim this bit? And then... I guess that would be a chokehold? That, that, that would be a choke point, I suppose? Hmm... Oh, wait, no, the, the space whales would be angry at me if I did that. I think. Will the space whales be angry at me? I'm not sure. Uh, transit hub, hyperdrive two, hyperdrive two. Nice. Wait, I don't remember. I don't remember researching this. <laughs> Apparently, we did. Legit, can't remember doing that, but that's okay. <clears throat> okay, what we got? Um, Lafolan looks like a choke point. Uh, where's Lafolan? Lafolan. Uh, I'll get back to. It. I got half the thing blocked over. On the right. Rimbolf. Oh, Lafolan, there! Yeah, that's true. Yeah, that's a good point. Yeah, I might have to think about that. I don't know if I nick the system. I think the Space Whales get angry if I steal the system. I'm not sure. Um... Though, weirdly, I appear to have actually surveyed there. Why have I randomly surveyed there? They're passive? Are we sure? Hmm. Right. Oh, okay. Right, what do we reckon? Uh, plasma throwers? They were fun last time. Uh, mining drone lasers? Uh, don't think they're great, are they? We never actually used those last time. We've also got a head start on those, but I don't think they're actually any better than the, the blue lasers we got. The plasma throwers were OP. So we should probably get those. Um, 
or a fusion reactor. Let's get the plasma thrower. That came in handy last time. Okay, it is gone six o'clock. Uh, I need a break and I need to refill my drinks and things like that. So let's go saving. Yeah, re research output's pretty good too. Uh, things are happening. Yes, that's what we're going to call that. Double check that's saved. It has indeed. Right, and I'm going to take a quick break, uh, grab myself a drink, have a stretch, things like that. Uh, I urge you all to do the same, and I shall see you guys in about 10 minutes or so. So see you in a wee while. Oh, hello. they're already but here. Oh, they're all friendly, Mercs. They'll be friendly in all of them, then. Oh, this oh. does happen from time to time. We beat the shit out of someone and they decide to join us because reasons. Yeah, <laughs> friendly Mercs, friendly, friendly Mercs. Mercs. Sorry about that. What do they bring? Friendly Mercs, here is Hamster. Follow him. Oh, he is no. Your friend. No. You guys are closest. He is your babysitter for no, the second. No, no. Oh, I'm backing away. Advance, I'm backing away. Let's where see, are they going? Let's see where they go. Oh, no. They're going. <laughs> oh. Where are they going? In crab? No. In crab? Oh. No. Oh. No. Not again. <laughs> Not like this. Not like this. <laughs> right, I'm going this way. No. <laughs> no. Thank you're you fucking, your you're fucking the, kidding uh, me. The school. They Fuck off! I don't want the responsibility! Leave me alone! Oh, God. Great. Good. Superb. Okie dokie. Okay. Right. Uh, so we want to get... Hmm, I'm going to get that close, actually. Or maybe we could shoot the table. Hang on a minute. We are gonna be we are gonna be so disappointed. Okay, I, I might be able to shoot the table and possibly the floor, apparently. Or maybe I can get rid of the table. Okay. So it turns out that shotguns are infinitely more powerful than AK-47s. Which I suppose kinda makes sense. <laughs> that's destroyed a quarter of the house! Oh, that's amazing! Well, I'm glad you guys talked me into it, because that's actually quite funny. And great- Look at this! <laughs> the giant sea of cargo pods I've left behind! I am not doing responsible wombling! That is not responsible wombling, I've actually left more crap behind than I picked up. I am now the anti-womble. Making good use of the things that we find, leaving all the excess shit floating behind. <laughs> Turning it into a hazard, hazard for all the spaceships. I'm covering the galaxy in huge piles of shit. There you go. Moving on. I wonder how long the microwave liberty. We're not microwaving liberty. No, do not microwave the liberty. Orbital inbound. That's heresy, that Gordon is. Ramsay will hunt you down and eat yeah, your that, children. Yeah, that, 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 Sorry, Tommy. That's what that I know. Oh. <laughs> oh my god, we're just barraging everything. This is great. I love it. I think we call this the word of the day is excessive force. Yeah, no, it's it's just about the right force. <laughs> oh, hang on. Right, ghoulie shots. Oh yeah, look, the ghoulie shots work. You're right. I told you. Yeah, I oh shit, you. I'm out of fucking ammo. Damn it. The ghoulie shots. Ghoulie <laughs> shots. I call them that, but I'll take it. <laughs> ghoulie shots. Behold the ghoulie shots. Super effective. <laughs> Mm, I found my calling. I'm <laughs> hiding well away from you lot. Staying up here. Oh, this isn't. This isn't level the city because it's a new way. Level the city. Very good, my lord. <laughs> oh, no, I was say, you said the words. I don't like how that shell went right over my cockpit. I could have been worse. Could have been through your cockpit. I am aiming way above you. Wait, have I got some further in front? And I saw, I hear a gunshot, like and then I see the cloud. It does not feel like that, good sir. <laughs> I am a taller <laughs> man. <laughs> and here we see the Kentaro and the Hunchback having the <laughs> annual argument of fisticuffs <laughs> due to errant <laughs> artillery shells. Getting into fisticuffs in the natural environment, the densely populated urban area. <laughs> uh. I mean, in a, in a sphere, Max, yes, the natural thing of fisticuffs is a thing. Yep. Really? We we just descend into rock and sock and robots. <laughs> <laughs> hey, fists, note, lead reloading. 
I did not notice the Orion were facing the wrong way. Let's hope the other one isn't missiles. They're getting the angle on me. Oh, fuck me! What was that? Armor blow through. Internal damage. Holy fuck, what was that? Uh, well, I think the Orion's dead. <sighs> Luckily, they fired the missiles at the archer. Okay, that looked like some sort of plasma thing, but holy shit, what was that? If I if I'd have noticed I was facing the wrong way, I might not have done that. Death ray, I think. Oh great. Uh, yeah, there you go. Wow. Okay. Can I get that close? I don't think I can get that close. Okay, we'll do. Careful. Okay. This should be fine. There we go! Actually, hyenas are no joke, actually. They are, like, just... death and muscle. Even more efficient if we put in some extra effort. Oh, okay, they can go pretty fucking far. Jesus Christ! That's some that horseshit! Holy fuck! Okay. I should have taken them a bit more seriously. Bloody hell. I mean, I get hyenas are fast, but fuck me, that, that like, covered half the map. What's that blue laser? What's that blue laser? Die! Die, you Why is there a blue thing? laser? What is that blue laser? What is a blue laser? I'm, I'm, I'm the evac. <laughs> oh, somebody just got <laughs> What's that blue well, laser? Figured... Squish. Well, <laughs> have, have we learned something today? I feel we've learned something. Oh dear. <laughs> oh boy. Oh, that's the. Uh, the head head head. I just got hit by the dropship. Oh, toaster! I know your pain. I know your pain. Somebody bring him back. Oh my word. I just oh. want to escape. I just want to go home. Well, you can once you're in. You gotta escape indefinitely. Fuck yeah, I'm off. Bye. Uh. Let's catch you guys later. <laughs> oh, God. Toaster got exhausted. Yes, he did. Oh. Yes, he got exhausted. What's the, what's... Are we supposed to? Oh, oh we got around? chaos. <laughs> oh, look, they're in the. Uh, I yeah. can't get over here. I'm too short. They're in the fields. Go, Damn. my scullions! Okay, that guy doesn't no, have no, a head. No. That's good. Oh, wait, I'm supposed to use my crossbow. The necromancer doesn't stand out very well against... I can't see over the... I can't see over the corn. I'm too short. Get on a <laughs> rock, short deck. I need a... I need a tactical rock. In great Games Workshop <laughs> tradition, I need a tactical rock. Oh. Uh, there we go, that's better. That in turns. You did such a good job. I've suddenly found the slight drawback of being a dwarf. <laughs> you are small. I'm small. Not very big at all. Cannot see over the corn. Oh god, I bet that looks cursed on the stream because that was like nothing but vegetables. Fish, you're living. For the Urian. Didn't I? Didn't I do that already? I'll have a look in a second. Oh, that's not what I meant to do. I clicked the wrong thing. Oh. I clicked the wrong thing. Uh, that didn't do what I thought it would do. <laughs> that was a misclick! Oh no! Well, that's that. Never mind. Oops. Um. Well, we don't have to worry about them anymore because they just blew themselves up. Ah. <laughs> uh, oops. I thought when it says there's no need for espionage, I thought that means we'd reveal ourselves to them, but that just means we'd stop giving a shit. Oh well, never mind. Yeah, congratulations. It's, uh, potentially habitable. <laughs> no, he's completely blocked. 
Uh, take cover. This is gonna go so wrong. Oh yeah, they got grenadiers! Excellent, help, help, I'm being suppressed. Miss, solid. Oh, okay, that's a gunner. Okay, okay, okay. Well, oh, that's not good. Oh! Nobody told me that exploded. What the fuck was that? No, not having that. No, no, no. Nobody told me that exploded. That's some horseshit. <laughs> we'll see, you know, giant mecha. Oh my god! You motherfucker! And on that note, I'm back. Uh, sorry about that. My, uh... The tea that I'm on at the moment, which is completely caffeine-free. Uh... That takes a little longer to brew. And also it means it's completely hydrating, so that's always good too. Okay. Biscuits. Biscuits are important. I don't know why... Oh yeah, I forgot my hat. Okay. I'll do the thing without the hat. All your characters have main character syndrome? <laughs> I think it's just fate. It's clearly just fate. Every time you rename somebody, something dramatic happens one way or the other. Right. Oh, is the uh, music player packed up? Yeah, the music player has packed up. That keeps happening. Or is it? Yeah, I'm just at a loss to explain that, to be honest. But there we go. Is that playing? I don't know what that's doing now, I gotta be honest. It's a fascinating phenomenon, I know. I'm going to assume that's working now. Okay, right. Biscuits. Biscuits are important. Sorry, you guys get to see this on camera now, which is terrible. Okay. Um, where were we? Colonizing places. That's a good thing. The new uh, television series, Colonizing Places. Uh, like going places, but slightly different. Um, this bridge resembles a deck of an old planet-bound sailing ship. Okay. It's Spelljammer, basically. A sea shanty or a space shanty. This is the, this is the Aquatics DLC. I remember this one. Indeed, yes, math, math knows what it is. It is, in fact, not what I thought it was the first time around, which is SpongeBob SquarePants. Detected. Uh, the planetary body Deuce Ulpa appears to be covered in some sort of greyish substance. Uh, sure. Check that out. I'm sure it's nothing bad. Yeah, the unfortunate thing is, because we closed our borders to the, the Melodic Hub and the Empire have closed their borders, we can't get over here and see what's going on. Um... I wonder if we could get over here via the Bin Penshan, actually. That could be funny. Just to sort of, like, yeet, yeet a, a vessel around here, see if we can discover what's around here. Um... Yeah, we might do that. Let me him finish surveying that. Yeah, I don't think it's... I still don't think it's working right. Every so often it just stops. Um, I'm not entirely sure why. 
Encounter in Murmuring Nothing. Oh, hang on, I need, I need biscuits for this. Biscuits for first contact. Oh, hang on. Is it an actual first contact? Oh, I wonder. Oh, this is the swole fins. That could be funny. It might not be. It might not be. Okay. Do we have a spare official? Uh, I think we had one of them was working on... Not official. Envoy. I oh, we do have a spare envoy. We do. Let's see what their, de their deal is. What's this? Let's have a look at their ships. If we could have a look at the... Oh, wait, investigate? Oh, first contact. Okay, that's fine. Yeah, I was going to say, let's have a look at the... Uh, let's have a look at the ship if we can. It's... Okay, you guys would know. What, what ship design is that? I don't think that's aquatic. That looks machine-like. Humanoid? Sure that's humanoid? That looks more machine-like to me. Who knows? We'll find out. Oh, it's a human ship. Oh, okay. Interesting. So we've got we've got somebody right on our uh, doorstep then entirely possibly. Complete. Right, in which case, right, I've got one fleet here, one. F well, that's a tiny. F that doesn't even constitute as a fleet. What I'm gonna do is send a fleet out. Oh, they're like right here. Okay, I'm gonna send a preemptive fleet out here. Uh, yes. Let's steal that from them before uh, they take it. Sounds like a good plan. Construction complete. Uh, I have the same ship set for my empire. Oh, okay. Hey, we stole it. Uh, sorry, legally claimed it. Mysterious spacefarers. We're still gathering data on the alien spacecraft that are reporting in the murmuring nothing system. Okay. I have a bad feeling about this. I get a bad feeling about this. Use the force, Luke. Grey Goo. After detailed analysis, Officer Bill Nye Atom Crusher has discovered a strange metallic cell. Is this living metal again? Oh no, these are nanites. Ugh, oh, not Grey Sludge. Oh, great. Yeah, it really is Grey Sludge. Uh, construction templates. Technology discovered. Don't mind if I. Don't mind if I do. Oh, holy shit! That was a nice one. Nano machine, son. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Hey, the Elk Chaos, how's it going? Uh, resource silos plus 5,000, planetary build speed plus 50, empire size from districts minus 10%. Hot damn! Hey, Infernal Icon. Okay, beats them up. Oh, don't worry. There will be, there will be plenty of uh, force later. Oh, I see what this. Ha I see what happens when we find a free technology. It's as though we've completed one of these, even though we haven't actually completed it. I see. I understand now. I understand now. Right? Have they colonized that bloody planet yet? No, they haven't. Okay. Hurry up! I need food. <laughs> Empire needs food. Survey complete. What's that? That's from uh, Gauntlet, isn't it? The fighter needs food. And whatever you do, don't shoot the food. Um, we steal that one too. Yeah, we're just we're just expanding all over the place like a crazy person. Establishing colony. Okay, good, good. Shouldn't worry about biscuit consumption here. No food ingestion looks quite as badly as the grapefruit technique sounds. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, 
at least our empire isn't quite as blobby as it was last time because I remember to close my borders. Or did I? Did I close my borders to everyone? Right, I didn't close my borders to the Benpenchan because we've got a migration thing going on. Hmm. I'm not going to be able to get used to that. Ah. They are rivaled by... Right, so we do have at least one unidentified empire. Okay, can we... Uh, close borders. Okay, I mean, they're not actually in our territory right now, but I think everyone else we probably should. Like, for example, the uh, lunatics. Like the Fossian Shard. They've closed borders to us, but we haven't closed okay. borders to them, except... Oh, that doesn't matter. What? Wow, that was a noise she just made. Empress Veikel Faglas. Okay, militant isolationists. Okay, great. Um, Caravan people... Right, the Ryogans, we don't know anything about, to be honest. They are they are close. Trade with the rock people for communication? That's a good shout. Why do they make that noise? Why? It's like a frustrated dolphin. Not that I've heard a frustrated dolphin, but that's what it sounds like. Okay. The moaning rocks. Yeah, exactly. Uh, we're going to do trade deal. Yeah, here we go. Uh, information. Active sensor link. And communications. That sounds good. Right, what can we give them? Uh, what have we got an abundance of? We have alien artifacts. Can we give them alien artifacts? No, I can't. Um, we do have quite a lot of candy. Will some, will some candy sweeten the deal? I think we only have to get it to, like, plus... Plus not very much, do we? So let's see if we can get it to, like... Three? How far does it have to be? Plus eight. Minus three. Well, it's positive, so I guess they'll be happy with it. Uh, let's sweeten it with active sense link and communications for our end. In fact, we could do that. We could actually we just do a. We could just do a mutual exchange. That makes perfect sense. They're getting their. They're getting their rocks off. There's a there's a song like that, isn't there? Isn't, it, isn't that the Rolling Stones? The Rolling Stones did a song about getting your rocks off. Ha <laughs> ha! Ah. Oh god. Right, that's a little warm. I'm gonna leave that for a minute. Oh wait, there's an ad break at the moment. Okay, let's let's hold fire for another eight seconds before that finishes. And we're back. There we go. That worked. Just an acceptance range. Okay, well that's fine. That that costs us nothing. We can just do a. a... A mutual thing. Hey, Kavakupo, how's it going? Welcome, welcome. Why does it keep going up and down? Do they not like... They, they don't like odd years, apparently. Yeah, let's do that. Let's see what happens. Why? That is a noise. That is a noise. What the hell? I know, it's so strange. Uh, hey, we found the solidarity of Gorfis. That's Bamboozle's uh, custom race. So this is good. This, this bodes well. That was worth doing. Okay. <laughs> Matt is like, motherfucker. Uh, so the Solidarity of Gorfus is here. Okay. Interesting. 
Yeah, these are these are kind of terrifying. Uh, materialist, fanatic, egalitarians. Okay, this is fine. This is heresy. How are those not noises from the swell dolphins? It should be, shouldn't it? Really. Uh, let's be nice. Uh, we salute you, Gorf. Hello. Um, there's still time. There's still there's still room. I reckon I reckon the swallfins are here. Like legitimately, I think the swallfins are here. I don't think they're up here because there's the the the, the human design is not the aquatic one. So I'm not gonna get used to that. Okay, they've accepted the deal. That's good. Okay, good stuff. Uh, that's another archaeological site. Good stuff. Swell dolphins too busy lifting to make well noises. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. I'm too busy to make noise. Oh, go away. Yes, we've established that already. Good, good, good lord. Imagine if the swell dolphins taken a huge chunk of the galaxy. Yeah. Um... It's interesting. It looks like the so the 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 Kiriwin Empire and the Gorfis are wedged right up next to each other by the looks of things. Um, so that's interesting. Yeah, maybe. I don't think they're this lot, but that's good. We've got we've got two player made empires. So that's good. I was worried we weren't going to get any. That would have been very bad. Okay, uh... Oh, wow, the, solitar the Solidarity of Gorfis actually quite like us. Is that because, uh... Their civics are relatively close to ours, I think? Oh. Except now that's kind of disappeared. Oh, that's like a fungus man! Oh, they've assimilated some of the elven people. That's slightly worrying. Uh, oh, who are they at war with? Hey, Bamboozle, there's timing for you. Hey, Bamboozle, how's it going? Yeah, we literally, we, uh, we had a chat with the, uh, our friendly... I've got to play you this again. This is so funny. The, the Bimpenchan, who make this noise when you talk to them. Repeatedly and at great length. Uh, and we uh, entered into a agreement with them for some communications, and yes, lo and behold, the solitary of Gorfis uh, popped up here. So uh, that's going well. That's going ideal. So I wonder if we could do a trade deal with them to see if they know what's going on down here. That could be interesting. Because they actually quite like us, which is uh, interesting. Well, I mean, it's at plus 75, so I suppose that's that's better than everything else. We're we're cheating here by saying by actually improving um we're using an envoy on this one. Any unusual fleet movements we have observed inside our borders are simply routine maneuvers, training exercises. Nothing's nothing's bad. Party leader Spreg. Who appears to be an elf who had an accident with a mushroom. Um so that's that's amusing. Right, let's uh I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna see if this works. So no not resources. Uh let's see if we can do the same with these guys. No, I think the answer to that is probably no. That's a negatory. They no. Because it's neutral. Okay, yeah, that's fine. We'll we'll leave them be. Who are they fighting? Oh! Oh They don't like the Bin Penchan. And they also have Cassus Belly on the Pin Penchan. Okay, that could be a problem. That's 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 not great. May I see the location of the uh Kiruin for a moment? Yes, they are down here. Um I can't see a huge amount of them, but uh the, this is where they are. You just got the Eldritch Oopsie ship? The Eldritch Oopsie ship is amazing. Uh try not to get it killed like I did. I did get killed fairly late in the game, but it still wasn't great. Uh, so yeah, they're, they're based around here, uh, Road to Mogul. I feel they may have expanded this way a little bit, but obviously I can't actually uh, see what's going on. So... I, I wonder if there's somebody else down here. Uh, 
It's going to be interesting times. Going to be butting up against each other fairly soon. One way or another. Uh, oh, what's this? Uh, they've closed the borders. That's fine, because I closed borders with them, I think. Which is fine, because they didn't like us anyway. This is not a problem. Wait, hang on a minute. Is this planet the one that has the... I'm sure there's an event chain I haven't actually done yet. Maybe it's this one. Or that one. I'm not sure. The murmuring nothing. Um, I got a science vessel here. Oh, it does. He's going the wrong way, though. Well, that could well be another empire, for all we know. Uh, but then I suppose that wouldn't be a bad idea to go have a look anyway. Interesting their logo change from what I set. Um, hmm. They make growling noises. They make growling noises when you talk to them. That's slightly worrying. Maybe, maybe they had a radical change of uh, ideas. I'm not sure. So what they got going on? Uh, they've closed borders with me and. They've done something terrible to the Bin Penchan, so that's amusing. Or well, the Bin Penchan aren't very happy about it. What are the two? Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Fucking noises. Fucking noises. Oh, pulsating stars. Okay, yeah, we probably need to have a look at that at some point. Uh, are you busy, sir? No, you are busy. Oh, hello. Hello. A terrible sight to behold. Oh. A wooga, a wooga. That's not good. It was inevitable. Uh, their appearances provoked widespread dismay amongst our populace, describing them as repulsive beasts. Many are claiming we take action to deal with a new humanoid threat. And so we shall. Xenophobe. Or repulsive aliens tolerated for 10 years. Um. Well, that's a bit of a fucker. I don't really want to be a xenophobe. I'm not a really xenophobic kind of posse. They're revolting. Hi, yeah. Happiness minus five. We can cope. We can cope with happiness minus five, can't we? Let's do it. Then look, that's fine. What's wrong with those guys? Repulsive orcs. They do look a bit orky. I mean, it doesn't look that bad. What? What is going on? They've got hair on their face. You, I know. All right, is this still going? It's still going. Okay. So how many races? How many races is that now? So we've got the two fallen empires. We have the Hub, Gorfis, Kiryun, and Penchan, uh, Rayogan. There's still room. There's still room. There's definitely there's definitely still room. Yeah, my lot are going like, they're humanoids, and so are we, which is kind of funny. Oh wait, hang on, I can clear I can clear blockers here. This is good. I think I want to do that. Uh, yes, noxious swamp. Don't mind if I do. Oh yeah, I'm mammalian, aren't I? Oh god, we've still got the, the whole food problem. Fuck. Have we colonized that planet yet? Oh, we have. Right. God damn it. No, we're still in the process of colonizing it. Oh shit. 
hope we won't starve. Also, my energy isn't my energy income isn't actually huge. Um, this is fine. Uh, we really probably could take this planet actually, though we're in the middle of surveying it. Oh no, wait, hang on, I've got somebody else there. What are you doing? You've just you're just sitting there. I don't know why. Right, I tell you what, go over here, and when he's finished, we can steal it. And why didn't you survey that planet while you're at it as well? Oh, I don't know. Confusing. Oh, hello. Uh, what we got? Uh, public Works Division. Uh, one additional housing. Resources from jobs. I feel that's a good option. Go to a planet that has low pops. Uh, an attraction for immigration decision. Uh, okay, give me a second. Uh... I just actually had a brain fart. It's like, where's Pops? Pops is there. Right, 52. 22. 18. 11. Okay, so... Whole Home only has 11 Pops. So... Go to decisions to set up an attraction for immigration decision? Seems like you need to stop Pop growth at the capital. Oh, okay. Uh, I can't do that. Oh, I just used all my unity. That's why. But I can't... I can't do that. <laughs> that not be happening. Distribute luxury goods? How will that help? Oh, immigration pull. Oh, okay. Oh, this is minus one food. I shouldn't have built agriculture districts here. Because this is this is not it because it is bleak. Bleak. <laughs> bleak. Not bleak. Um, also, I've got six districts I could build there. And I've actually got some buildings. Um... Still can't make food! So what, what, honestly, what should I build on this planet? Because I have no idea. I've got six districts. Uh, it's rubbish at food. Uh, oh yeah, we don't have an auto Chathon monument. Yeah, that's a good one. And a temple. Uh, unity and amenities. Okay. Damn it. Uh, we're still building. Actually, we're still building some districts here anyway, so that's good. Uh, that's still being colonized. Right. How how do our uh, places look? Oh, I can build. I can build lots of things here. Okay. Uh, what can I build here? Uh, trade hub, shipyard. Oh, this is the original one, isn't it? Right, crew quarters. So I've got to on a trader hub. Uh, maybe I stick a gun battery on it? I don't know. Um, Offworld Trading Company? Just two trade value for each trade hub. Okay, that doesn't help if we don't have any trade hubs. <laughs> Um, oh, it even tells me. Trade collection range. Trade projection 16. Listening post? Well, that's no point, because that's right in the middle of my empire. Probably don't really need that. There's a massive crystal cathedral inside. <laughs> yeah, that sounds about... That sounds. Yeah, you're basically Fox Eldar, basically, aren't you? As far as I can uh, figure out. Oh, that's the U-10. Okay, that's why that's not actually listing as a system. Why have I got a giant hole here? I'm perplexed. 
Construction uh, complete. Oh, oh, oh. Things are happening. Oh, okay. These I can upgrade to star holds. Okay. Um, what's happened? Fire aliens! Which ones are the fire aliens? Were the fire aliens really ones that we were going, dear god, these are ugly, oh god, oh god? I think it was, wasn't it? Okay, trust is most welcome, sure. What's the worst that could happen? Oh, fi? Oh, fi. I was more than four jumps from my sector capital. Okay. I still never got the hang of sector capitals either. <laughs> that was the thing I failed to do. Oh, hang on. All right, the food deficit's going down. That's good. It was at minus 22 a second ago, and now it's at minus 18. Complete. That is good. That is heading in the right direction. Um, right. What are you doing? Complete. Initiating communications. Wait, oh, wait, what's going on here? Subjugation request? Okay, hang on a second. Is this, this is what happened last time, wasn't it? So, the squeaky rock people want to become my vassal. Um... <laughs> Should, should we, should we do this? I think this is probably because they get, they got their asses handed to, I have a funny feeling. These guys had an unfortunate, uh, accident with the, uh, oh, hello. Wait, who's that? Is that the Gorfus? Yeah, that's the Gorfus. It looks like they're being, like, pushed around by the Gorfus and the Kiryun, which is a problem. That'll make enemies of the Kyrian Empire. Yeah. I'm not too sure about that. Literally known these guys for five minutes, and they're like, I wish to become your vassal. It's like, uh. I think I'll say I think I'll say no for now, because I remember what happened when we when we did that with the slug people. They ended up being like all parts of our empire went all over the shop, didn't it? That was that was less than ideal. Also, we'll have to fight everybody because I think they're possibly I think they're at war with the, the Gorfis and the Kiryun Don't like them, and I can't take on both of these at the same time. I don't even think I can take on one of them at the same time. So, sorry. I'm going to say no for now. Second playthrough, second time an empire is like, please subjugate me. It's like, don't, don't want to. Complete. Uh, yes, right. Nick that. Oh, I can't because I'm lacking influence. Okay. That's annoying. Blocker cleared. Oh, good. Blocker cleared. That's always good to know. Uh, how much influence is it going to take? 75, okay. I really want that system because it's full of goodies. Yeah, these guys look like they might have had a bit of a rough start, honestly. Technology discovered. Uh crystals! I had to do it. Ethan crystals! Okay, new research. Um here we go. Coil gun, bunch of ass. Uh, powered exoskeletons. Interesting. Uh, oh, uh, habitation module. Orbital ring module, habitation module. <coughs> Is that the thing? Is that the thing we want to go for? Survey the systems around it. If you claim those systems, it'll be cheaper to get the crystals. I mean, yeah, it looks it looks pretty good. Exoskeletons lead to mechs. Okay. Is Dr. Dinosaur going to be a running joke here? I mean... 
I've, I've, it only pops up so long. It depends what your definition of a running joke is. I, I have lots of bad running jokes. <laughs> I choke myself laughing while writing is using crystals. Excellent. It had to be. It had to be done. So what do we reckon? So we got the, the we got the habitation, the orbital. Oh wait, have we actually unlocked orbital rings? I don't think we've even unlocked orbital rings. So how could I have a module for something I haven't unlocked yet? Huh. <laughs> Planetary defense hangers? That's not a bad one. I mean, to be honest, this is cheap and quick. Let's do that one. Worker pop will increase your food. Oh, that's good. Entirely by accident. Worker pop resource output. Yep, nope, that's good. Yep, nope, that's good. We do need that. Still. Oh, it's gone back to minus 22 again. Ugh. I thought I got it handled. Apparently not. That planet's called Meryl. Uh, ooh. Ah, oh, yes, it's the, it's the space shanty. Excellent, yes. That's the, uh, this is the song from the, uh, Aquatics DLC. Excellent. No, I'm not gonna sing it. Well done, Dr. Mouse. It's fine, in a little while we'll have enough influence to take it, to be honest. Oh, though, in fairness, yeah, that's a bit... Why didn't we survey that one? That's a bit random. Take the power to exoskeleton tech so you can get max. That is true. Council agenda ready. Oh, okay, what we got? Evolving society. Don't mind if I do. Uh, display of power? Yeah, that might come in handy. Or well, like a vulgar display of power. <laughs> uh, oh wait, hang on, we were going over... We were, where we, got, we were thinking of bottlenecking somewhere. Right, I don't know why this planet is surveyed and everything else isn't. That's just random. Uh, are you asleep? You are asleep, but you're on the other side of the... side of the planet. That's not ideal. Um... So, I imagine we don't want to butt up too close to these guys, to be honest. So, maybe I will send you back down here. Uh, I'm slightly worried if we if we do things to this planet, bad things will happen. But we'll find out. It'll be fine. Right. Uh, oh, you're still moving. Okay, I don't think we're going to get attacked from this angle, but we might. By aliens. Okay, I mean, they're not immediately hostile. That's good. Oh. The Ayatollah of Diggin' Holla has already resigned? Re retired? Jesus Christ. He didn't last long. Well, it didn't feel like he lasted long. Good God. i got to hire another one now. Okay, I'm definitely gonna I'm gonna rename the uh the, the, the Minister of Defense the Ayatollah of Digging Holler because that's just it's funny. Uh Empire Effects as Counselor. Computing, Empire Effects as Field Manipulation, Particles, uh Blocker Clearing, New World's Research Options. Right, so does that actually leave a hole in the government? It does leave a hole in the government. Okay. So that will be councillor related. Oh, hello! Peblen Steelharm! What a name. Uh, what does he do? Oh, materialist. Interesting. This is great. We have our own pet rock people. I mean, not pet rock people, but pet rock people. Yeah. Um. So, particles, field manipulation, computing. Hmm. Particles! Oh, it's gonna get old. Uh, some might argue it already is old. Also, he's the youngest, I've just noticed, so that might be a good idea. Okay, and then we're gonna rename the Minister of Defense to the Ayatollah of Digging Hola because it was funny. There you go. That's, that's definitely what you call the, the, the Minister of Defense. Makes perfect sense. 
world. Yeah, exactly. Uh, complete. Okay, yeah, they're getting a little close to my system again. Oh, survey complete. Oh, oh. Okay, who's this? Our efforts to deliver the signals and the fire have paid off. Uh, the Demian League. Well, the Demian League? On the screen. Our presence in the galaxy has not gone by unnoticed. They are pacifist egalitarians. Okay, this is, this is, I, I will say, hang on a minute, oh, it's Yerian. One slight criticism I will level at this game, just a smidge, is that whenever you seem to make a particular race, you have variations of, the, it's like, every bugger is either spiritualist or an egalitarian <laughs> all variations on the same and it's it's kind of like that's that's i say that's the one kind of slight thing is is that like right i've got a fanatic i've got an egalitarian spiritualist player race and every person we come across is either egalitarian or spiritualist it's it's kind of funny okay peaceful coexistence and individual freedoms also they're pacifists so that's fun Let's say we are equals and friends. Why not? Random AI empires are based on the player's empire. Oh, okay. Right. So we found some friends. Uh, where are they? Oh, there they are. Well, uh, we won't be having that planet because uh, that's theirs. <laughs> so we best go this way and steal these ones instead. Sorry, lay lawful claim to. Well, I can only assume they must be down here. Uh, which is going to be a little bit awkward to get to. Yeah, exactly. I, I, I think it's a bit kind of... Yeah, that is the one, like, criticism I would have, I feel. Pina friend from Nomen Aspa. And good afternoon, good afternoon to you too, madam. Federation builders want to establish mutual embassies? Sure, why not? How much do they like us? Do they, do they like us a lot? Uh, they like us a fair bit. They like us a fair bit and they're cooperative, so that's good. We only have secondhand intel on the diplomatic pacts. Uh, why do they have Cassus Belli on me? Is that because I'm I'm bordering them probably? Oh wait, has Cassus Belli an unidentified empire? Right. Okay. So here's the thing. Um, if you're, if you're a pacifist xenophile, it's more likely to be a militarist xenophobe. It's RNG. Has to be surrounded by militaristic states. Oh, maybe, maybe it's just, yeah, maybe it's just a, a, a random thing. So. This lot are at war with an empire we don't know about. Also, this lot are at war with an empire we don't know about. So that means there's at least two left. So, that's interesting. The fact they're at war with an empire and they're a bunch of pacifists is kind of funny. I'm not really sure how that came about. Um Oh no, it has Cassus Belli on Okay, they have a have reason to be to claim war against somebody, but they're obviously not gonna claim war against somebody because they're pacifists. Makes sense. Uh then you're in the south because my empire is pacifist. Ah, okay. But then why would the machine hub be having a beef with you then? Because I'm pretty sure. The melodic hub. Swalfin! Melodic war of obedience! You're at war with a melodic hub! That is exactly where you are, Math. <laughs> you you are being <laughs> Okay. Now this was a theory I had that the melodic hub are not as nice as they look. Because we don't know what their civics are. 
I actually think they might be bad guys. Uh, but yeah, uh, as it turns out, you're actually, you're fighting the Melodic Hub, so you must be here. Machines make beef. Yeah, that's very true. <laughs> yeah, I, I think the Melodic Hub are, are not, uh, are not nice. Based on war exhaustion? Yeah, I mean, yeah, it looked like a relatively, uh, fair fight. So that's everybody. So that means that that's great. So we've got the uh, uh, Roach Moguls, Kyrian Empire is there. Bamboozles, Gorfus, uh, Solidarity of Gorfus is there. And the Swalfins are down here. So that's that's awesome, Source. Must talk. <laughs> yeah, it, I can't get down there. Uh, it's 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 going to be nigh impossible for me to get down there. Uh, Grellibat Stonebane. Stonebone. Oh, that guy's not. That name isn't even Stonebane. It's Stonebone. I thought it was Stonebane. Stonebane would have been cooler. Uh. Oh, here we go. We have more uh, uh lyrics. Oh wait, is that new? Up comes the Tianki, the king of deep space, racing our ships in a hyperspace chase. Up comes Leviathan Tentacles. Oh, yeah, yeah, this is because it talks about the DLC. Yeah, I remember this now. Not tearing each other apart. It's not true. Yeah, yeah, you guys did. You guys spawned in a in a sort of little clump down here. Whoa, it's getting interesting. It's getting interesting. God, I should probably think about, like, where am I likely to be attacked from first, if at all? Oh, it's slightly terrifying. All right, all my construction sh uh, ships are asleep now. This isn't good. All right, did we did we get this now? Lacking thirty five. That's gonna take me hundred and thirty five to get. Oh, that's because we haven't. Wait, wait, I thought I told you to go there. Oh, because somebody somebody retired. God damn it. Um. I hate that. You tell a, you tell a science vessel to go do something, and, and the guy driving it retires while he's driving it, and then suddenly it's like it just grinds to a halt. <laughs> it's like you couldn't have put the autopilot on? No, apparently not. Uh, right. You need to build things. Do, do the building thing. Right. Uh, you're not doing anything. We need to expand this way, too, because... Oh, however, the uh, pacifists can't get past us now, so that's uh, that's quite handy. Things you never thought you were going to say, the pacifists can't get past us. Okay, so I shouldn't worry about the pacifists too much. Um... Mm hmm. I might send a fleet over here for giggles, just the hell of it. Hey, Megaforge, how's it going? Oh, welcome, welcome. Let me give a quick shout out there. Uh, oh, that's not, that's not how we do it. That's how we do it. Oh, hello. Hmm? That's weird. Uh... A buzz with a new kind of technology invented by a resident capable of transmitting sensations of smell to a user. That's, one of the, that's like a new gamer tech where you could smell the game you're playing, which sounded like a terrible idea. Oh, this is where all my influence is going. That only just dawned on me. This is where all my in my my influence is going because I keep doing yes, and then suddenly my influence gets cut in half. No, not right now, thank you. I'm busy. Uh, the golf is pretty strong in AI hands. Shared burdens is a massive boon. Oh well, it'll be fine. I thought it was. No, it said minus influence, didn't it? No, it said minus 500, it said minus 500, uh, thing and minus 500 influence. That was definitely a minus. Oh, pay 200 credits and get 50, oh, bollocks, oh well, never mind. Can we call them back up? Oh well, never mind. I missed that. Oh well, never mind. I'll, I'll, I'll pay more attention next time. Probably not. It's me. Uh, right. Okay. This is fine. Right. You're not doing anything because you're not doing anything. Construction complete. Good reason.
Well, it looks like both the the Gorfis and the Kiryun are going after the Bin Penchan, which is kind of funny because the Bin Penchan are the only people that like us. They don't actually seem to have any military. Oh, they have some military. Okay. Anomaly detected. Uh, anomaly. Uh, sure. Uh, right, I have a fleet that's sat there not doing an awful lot right now. Um... Hmm... Maybe I'll leave it down here. Construction. Oh, wow, well, hang on a minute. I should come down here and nickel these uh, crystal things because... I can actually uh, harvest those now. That's awkward. All right, he can't do anything as he's surveying. Uh, a crew aboard the Ars Medra will report the Quili shipwreck, an unexpected geomatic, bleh, geomatic solar storm. A geostorm, one might say. Um, there are no survivors. Oh dear. A notable amount of minerals. We will not... Oh! Oh, these are from uh, the Dimian League. Oh, okay. So we can get 300 minerals and piss off the Dimian League while getting 10 intel on them. Or we can give them back to the, the uh, Dimian League and it will increase our influence. I'm going to give them back to the Dimian League because I can afford to. Where was Queely? Colony established. Queely was nowhere near here. Was it? Wow, these guys got way more planets than I have. Holy shit. Pepe Bolwol. What a great name for a planet. And they got a mega structure too? God damn it. I'm glad these guys are pacifists. Because we could be within, a, we could be between a rock and a hard place if we were. If, if this, twi this has gone another way. Uh, yay! Found a colony somewhere else. I can wreck. Right. I should probably build food. Build food. I should probably build the uh, uh, agriculture. Yes, might be a good idea. Because we're still lacking in the food department. I hope the dragon doesn't get hungry again at any point. That would be bad. Uh, right, we also need somebody to live here. That might help. Uh, or maybe Autochathon to begin with. There we go. Right, can we make this... Uh, no, do not initiate the huge cleansing process. Immigration pull? Okay, let's try that. Construction complete. Okay, good, good. Uh, who's this? That's the Bin Penchan. Okay. Actually, is there any reason I haven't colonized all these other places as well? That would be a good idea, wouldn't it? In fact, there's literally a system. There's, there's another one right in the middle here. I can actually nobble this one. Yes, why am I not just colonizing everywhere? That would be a great, great plan, probably. Oh god, I can colonize Repentance. That's quite funny. Uh, one more planet, one more planet, one more planet. Yeah, we can colonize that with the uh, rock people. Right. Oh. We have received word of our down supply ship's cargo. We'd like to extend our gratitude to you. Excellent. Which is weird, because it's here, and they are there. So, how that happened, I'm not entirely sure, but uh, never mind, eh? Can we, can we nick this now? I was going to take me 135 influence. Okay, keep, keep, wait until that one's fixed. One more. 
What is that? Oh, that's space whales. Okay, that's fine. I feel we don't have enough military might currently. Which does worry me a little bit. <laughs> I mean, no one's trying to kill us, so I suppose that's a good thing. Anomaly detected. Uh, oh, excellent. Another anomaly. Hulk of a ship. Uh, leave it for now. Get that, get that sorted out, and then we'll figure that out afterwards. Yet. Yeah, exactly. God, I've got like 10 energy untapped down here. Why am I not taking advantage of that? Okay, we really are having a food problem. This is, this is very not good. I totally should have taken that hydroponics. There was a there was a research option for um, hydroponics base, and I never took it. And I kind of wish I had, because that would have helped quite a bit. <laughs> but I didn't, so that's that. <laughs> the Great Famine. <laughs> yeah. The great fuck up. Oh, the hydroponics bays are terrible? Oh, okay. Well, so starving to death, to be honest. Oh, I'm paused. You can tell it's getting late in the stream. I, I forget to unpause things. That's always good for a laugh. Technology discovered. What have we got? Uh, army damage and output. Lovely. Right. Engineering. Uh, I don't think we have destroyers yet, do we? So there's not much point having standardized destroyer patterns when I don't actually have them. Wait, can I build destroyers? I need to check. I don't think I can, but let me double check. Look, shut up, game. I'm having a moment. Uh, fleet management. Uh, ship designer. Holy fuck, I can make destroyers. <laughs> That needs work. One agri weld seems to do the trick. Okay, just grab all the resources in your borders, then buy food. Yeah, yeah, it's it's not too bad yet. Okay, I forgot we can actually make destroyers. Uh, we haven't got the fleet cap for destroyers. Um, but you know, maybe I should build more anchorages. I need to build. I think I need to build more star bases. That would make sense. Anyway, we can we can design this while I'm here. You dingus. Yeah, have you, you've been here before. I can't remember half of what I'm doing in this game. That's half the fun. Right, blue laser. All right, that's a medium one. So we have a small one. Oh, now here's the thing. What do we do with destroyers? What do we do with destroyers? What's the what's the butts of destroyers? Uh, it's point defense. Ooh, point defense. Maybe hydroponic space got buffed. Oh, okay. So you got interceptor, which is small and utility, and we got gunship, which is medium. Hmm. I don't think gunship. Oh, that gives me only one medium. Oh, that's not great. Uh, or one medium or two smalls. That's kind of like. What do I have with point defense? Sentinel point defense and a flak battery. Okay, that's not great. Hmm. Oh, I could just make it full of lasers. That's not very exciting. Um. Hmm. Uh, yeah, I've got um all the places I've I've got. Where there's resources, yes, I told them to go do looking for them. Or build build mining and stuff, yeah. Yeah, that doesn't help with the food though, because food isn't a resource you tend to find. Uh consumer goods I could do with some more with as well. Yeah, but the all all auto 
uh, automation does on the... Uh, whoops, just dropped that on my keyboard. All the automation does on the construction ships, it just builds mining stations and stuff, which is super useful. Um, We could just put more missiles on this. This could be funny. How about we have Zap Zap on the front and missiles on the back? We've already got lots of... We've got missiles on the... Uh, frigates. Um... I know. Yeah, I do. I have I have like four slots. I could actually I could actually build another four of them. I might build four on the border. Which might up my cap a little bit. That would make sense. So what we got? We've got picket ship. So that's point defense. And then we've got Interceptor, which is small again. Oh, we've got that, which is medium, which is blue lasers. Um... I mean, is that a terrible idea? I have no idea. No point putting a reactor booster on it, because it doesn't need it. Damage 16. How does that weigh up to the other ones? Oh, pretty good, actually. It does twice the damage of anything else. Wait, medium? Oh, medium mass drivers? Oh, it's because I navigated away from it. God damn it. Eighteen point thirteen. There you go. That's better. Just go all blue lasers. Uh, could do, I suppose. All blue lasers. Oh, also, that's perfect. That's power zero. There you go. That's nailed it. Right. Okay. Uh, what do we got so far? So we've got a Hedgethorn frigate, a Spike Corvette. What would a destroyer be? Uh. uh can't well, think of anything. <laughs> what does random number generator say? Terrible. Terrible options. Destroyer. Uh, I don't know. Pike? Ooh, Pike. Pike class destroyer. Yeah, I'm down with that. Oh, let's def delete the old one because fuck that noise. There we go. Pike class destroyer. Yep, I like that. Just enough, en just enough energy coverage to get that all sorted out, and that's awesome. Okay, that works. Right. Uh, that's as upgrade as it can possibly be. Right. So I reckon. Uh. I mean, we could build a starport in Letter to Jesus because I just that just appeals to me as a as an option. <laughs> Wait, well, I thought we were going to survey here. I got sidetracked again, didn't I? I keep, I keep coming up with these great ideas, and then I keep forgetting to actually go through with them. Uh, yeah. Hmm. Fuck it. Let's build one there. I need, I need the naval cap. Fuck, fuck the positioning. I just need the naval cap. Uh, and then possibly another one over here. Or actually, maybe here. Wang. Oh yeah, technology. Um, what do we want here? Right, well, now maybe I should take destroyer patterns because I actually have destroyers. Or should I take robot workers? Uh, synthetic crystal plants? Oh shit, I didn't mean to do that. Uh, robots? Robot pops are only capable of worker jobs. Mm, okay. Nakutrium. Is there any system next to Letters of Jesus? Well, we already named... Uh... Yithect. We could rename Yithect as Deliverance, I suppose. 
That works. Ding 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 ding. Is that deliverance? I can't remember. That's dueling banjos. Was that was that deliverance? I think deliverance was dueling banjos. Pretty sure it was. I was a terrible rendition of it, but that's deliverance. Okay, there we go. Hey, I kept I kept an American it. I've got that reference. <laughs> Oh, hello. Who's sending their science vessels? Oh, cheeky Ben Pin... Ben Bin Bin Pen Chan. Ben Pin... Pen Bin? Pin Pin Ben Bin. <laughs> it's half past 20 past 7. I'm losing my mind. Right. Uh, should we probably close our borders to the Bin Pen Chan? Because they're going to start stealing my shit again. This is what happened with the Jackley. They're not gonna like me for it, but fuck it. I was I was too I was too open last time. I was I was too much like yes, everyone walk through my territory and steal the stuff that's behind me. I don't think I want to do that. That probably won't make them very happy. And to you, sir, I say oh oh, oh fuck off. Uh, close borders. There we go. Yeet that side ship right back where it came from, motherfucker. Just call them the bin. That's where they belong. Yeah. I hope we meet the Swalfins this session. It's unlikely. Because they are literally on the other side. They're here. And we have closed borders, closed borders, closed borders. I cannot literally get to them. Right, let's make sure I can read this this time around. Oh no, they went 2,000. I mean, we can afford it. Uh, monthly unity and opinion. We can, we can afford that. Sure. I read that that time around. Yeah, I think the machine hub, the melodic hub, are not as nice as they made out. And I, I don't think I can... I can't get through here. I literally physically cannot go there. Yeah, sorry, sorry. Construction complete. Bin rock people. I uh literally where are you going? Oh you're going to fix you're going there to build stuff there. Council agenda available. Why why can't I Oh I could just I could just build another I'm a Muppet. I could just build another construction ship. I keep forgetting this I absolutely keep forgetting. There's no restrictions on uh construction ships. I keep forgetting that. Uh, no, that's fine. How's their war going? I'll have a look if I can. Uh, melodic hub. It says at war. I love how it says at war with unidentified empire. And then you come down here and it says defensive war, Swolfin, melodic war of obedience. So they're, they're trying to subjugate your lot. Defensive war. Wait, hang on a minute. If that's a defensive war, does that mean that the, the Swolfins attacked them? I thought they were pacifists. Am I reading that right? <laughs> maybe, maybe they've had a change of heart, Math. Maybe the cold darkness of space has done strange things to them, uh, because... If I'm reading that right, I think they started it. <laughs> um, that's kind of funny. That's actually kind of funny. Maybe they want everyone else to be... Pa yeah, maybe they're militant pacifists. Yeah. <laughs> militant pacifists doesn't exist. That's a mutual contradiction. But, uh, yeah. That's like, you will also be pacifists. I will browbeat you until you are a pacifist. Spiritualists do hate robots. Oh, that's a good point. The Swalfins are in a defensive war against the robots? I don't think so, because... I actually know you might be right. Because it says... The Melodic War of Obedience. I think... No, it says Swalfin Melodic War of Obedience. Defensive War... 
I don't know. I'm not sure. Not entirely sure. Eventually we'll figure it out. Militant pacifist walks awfully carry a big gun. Yeah. It was like it was like my lot the first time around. It's like we will hug you or else. Because they were militarist xenophiles, which is basically you will be our friends or we will shoot you. Which is not really ideal. Uh ooh, okay, what we found here. Potent potables. Up come swarms of robots, get ready to <laughs> That's new, I haven't seen that one. Hang on a minute. Uh, a stash of potent potables. The sailors consuming these foul fluids. Up came the lithoids, all hewn from their stone. These boulders are bolder when they're not alone. Okay, I like it. Up came the necroids, all fearsome and great. You can't kill the mateys, they'll reanimate. <laughs> Up come swarms of robots, get ready to run. Fight one, ten, a dozen, one, one, zero, one. I, lo I love it. I love it. Oh, my word. Right, where was that really? Yeah, it's right. If you still not surveyed this system, God, get a move on. We've got all the bonuses you can possibly. Ah, right. Okay, construction ship. Nice. Right. Uh, do automated things. Yes, so we can have crystals and trade stuff. Awesome. Oh, there's another colony there. Survey complete. Uh. Ooh. Uh, yep, that's uh, that's another anomaly. Leave it for now. Finish the survey, for God's... Okay. This looks like, uh, this place here... Oh, he has finished the survey. Looks to be, like, very eventful. I'm, I'm worried. But we're going to build an outpost there first. Uh, so actually he could start researching the, uh, anomalies because, uh, yeah, that works. That's fine. And then we need to double back and nick this one as well. Because that's got a lot of stuff in it. Oh, wait, are you doing anything? Okay, you're automated, that's fine. The atomic clock gave me a Gaia world? Nice. Construction complete. Uh, okay, good. Yep. Oh, hello. The latest newsletter to all our patrons. We've abandoned the attempts to create scent-scented media. That's a mouthful. It was a foolish idea that has brought nothing but wasted time and unpleasant odours. <laughs> right, okay, I'm reading this properly this time round. Yes, it's minus 500 power and plus 50 influence. Okay, I, I see now. Must admit our power output is not great. Probably because I haven't hoovered up all the little power nodes yet. Funny monkey smells, yeah. Monkey smells. Oh, there's five power there that's utterly not uh, taken advantage of. This is fine. This is fine. And in fact, somebody hasn't built a bloody thing in U-Town either. Oh, for God's sakes. Where did I send... Where did I send that, uh... Establishing colony. Right. Zufruk, you're asleep. Right, come down here. Construction complete. And fucking well, build a... Oh, you can't build minor stations. Oh, cannot build any type of station around any of the planets in this system. Which is annoying because there's ten energy credits sat there. Technology discovered. That's why he hasn't built anything. I suppose that makes sense. Uh star base capacity plus two. Don't mind if I do. Right. Oh god, here we go. Uh Colonial Bureaucracy. Edict Fund plus twenty. Base Intel level plus ten. Tile blocker, tile blocker, population growth, energy siphon, ancient refinery, or Ute astronomical interferometer. But I still forgot what that actually does. Oh, sensor ranges, okay. What do we reckon out of that lot? Because if nothing else, I'll go for a tile blocker, because I can't think. 
Energy siphons were fun, I think. Power blocker? Okay, yeah, makes sense. Does it tell me tell me? Ah, we have three Sinkhole blockers and four glacier blockers. Okay. So I'm gonna go with the glacier ones because that's more I can clear. I forgot that actually tells you. That works. Construction complete. Nice! Right, now quickly grab this before the space whales do something to it. I'm not sure what the space whales would do to it, but still. Right, you're automated, so you're gonna build stuff. That's good. Oh yeah, okay. Our our energy our energy deficit is looking much better now, so that's good. Also, our food is now at minus fifteen. That's better than it was. This is good. Oh, hello, oh God! Everything's happening. Noises. Car stop. Oh, hang on. Here we go. What's going on? Uh, glance at ancient history, displaying the zeal and courage of ancient explorers. Added them to our data banks. Our sailors now have a habit of singing versions of their own space shanties, which should improve morale and efficiency. Uh, harmonious crew modifier plus ten percent sublight speed. Nice. That's what we like. I should really do something with all those artifacts, but I can't think right now. Uh, cradle of life. Four gas giants enshrouded by a vast plasma field close orbit around Tiana Vex primary. Okay, so that's the that's the Tianqi homeworld. I still wonder if we build something there, will they be angry with us? I mean, we can't build anything there other than the space station, I suppose, so... Oh, fuck me! That's all of them. Yep, well. Because <laughs> I, I really don't want to annoy them. Because they will kill me. They won't. Okay. Well, once this guy's finished uh, harvesting all this nonsense... Oh, it's back to minus 23 again. God damn it. Oh, now I'm out of consumer goods. Oh, boy. Right, hang on a second. Uh, Still can't build anything here. Space cows are passive. Okay. Well, I mean, I'd be fairly passive until someone, like, set up shop in my house, then I'd be a bit miffed. Uh, can't build much else here. Oh, can build another agriculture district. Let's do that. Uh, these are forge worlds. Oh, wait, this has got like six gaps. Oh, okay, hold on. That's got three. Hmm. It's a meme that people who exterminate the space cows and bubbles is heartless monsters. Well, yeah, the, uh, the, um, the Devourers managed it last time. I got my overhead light on. I haven't. Right. I might have to in a second. The light, the light's getting funky in here. Give me a second. Actually, can I reach it from here? I probably can. This is ultimate laziness. There you go. Like better. Okay. Uh, more food. Um. Oh yeah, I didn't look at the blockers, did I? Uh. Nope, can't shift any of those. The glaciers we will be able to eventually. Uh, consumer goods. Yeah, we need those. Oh, I'm always short of something. Wait, what's that telling me? Migrating pops. Okay, that's fine. Uh, yeah, because there was like some. I I got some like sad message the last time I played, which was when. Basically, the, the Prithorian, whatever the hell they were called, uh, ate all the space whales, which was uh, rather unfortunate. But them's the breaks, apparently. Uh, have I diverted a science vessel from here again? I have. I need to stop doing that. Right, what's going on here? That's got a shipyard. That could be a starhold. Uh, ooh, okay, yeah, we could. Right, I need to be careful which of those I upgrade. Actually, like a stentar, a stentar bases. 
I can have Sten Tar bases, apparently. I was supposed to have 10 star bases, which I was attempting to say. Um, Did we colonize? Oh, we didn't. Okay. Oh, there we are. That's the unpronounceable place that's being colonized. That's good. Um, I mean, we might as well colonize here as well, because it's literally right in the middle of everything. So that sounds good. I love the fact we're just, like, colonizing it with the rock people. Unga Bunga Colony, yes. Don't be mad, Tianki Space Whales. I'm taking this for science. Okay, our energy income is looking healthier, which is good, because if the energy income is good, we can offset that with other things. I've got a shit ton of alloys, but I can't build any more ships because my ship cap is ridiculous. Oh no, what's happened here? Broken artistry. Greetings, patron Drake. Ro Wait, why is Roach? Why is Roach Crash of the Mogul in charge of this? Oh, because he's running the Empire. Okay. A major malfunction. Would the materials and scrap be any use to you? We'll salvage the materials. Five hundred minerals. Uh, don't need that. Or we'll repair it for you, which will give us influence. Sounds good to me. Right, what are you doing? Okay, you're building a mining station. That's good. Yeah, I know. So I was going to say, it's main, it's main character syndrome all over again, isn't it? Unexplainable rotations. Construction complete. I can't, I can't rotate all the way around. I'll, I'll knacker my cable. Um, does they have to finish our mining station on the trapped asteroid? Okay, which is here. The rock abruptly rotated, destroying the mining station. In the process of doing this, even more rare crystals deposit were exposed to our sensors. Build it again? Or why did it do that? I think why did it do that is a more important question. Updated. It's alive. Uh, no, wait, that's a special project. Uh, there we go. Um, no, that's crystalline. Oh, we never got around to the whole crystalline entities things. Jesus Christ. Okay. Damn it! I need another science vessel. Um. Shit. To all of a sudden, four science vessels does not feel like enough. Where are you going? You're. No, I sent you up there to survey that. Okay, everyone's busy. Is everyone busy? Oh, you're not. What are you doing? Oh, you were supposed to be having a look at that thing, so uh, do that. I've lost it. Where'd it go? Oh, there it is. Oh, another ship is performing the order. Okay, cool. Does that have an expiry on it? Construction complete. No, it doesn't. Okay. Okay, we got the lovely... Oh, there's two two people here. Okay, that's fine. Right, the Thug Med, which is a great name for a ship, um, is now just loitering. Wait, why is why did he fuck off? What are you doing? What? What are you guys doing? There's all my construction ships here. Automatic construction. No. Yep, you're not doing anything. Why why are we not like building shit here? so confused survey complete okay survey uh okay that's tianki place uh which we need to uh, oh holy complete. fuck society research nice don't mind if i do um oh you're still not doing anything oh okay well if you're not doing anything you come down here and explain this whole rock thing to me where is it here we are Uh, you're... You're going to Yutan. I don't know why you're going to Yutan, because we can't do anything there. So, uh, there's no point. I 
Okay, we're at minus... Discovered. We're at minus 12 food. This is good. This is an improvement. Um... Right, traditions. Public works division. Cool. Okay. It's ascension perk time. Right. Is there anything we've got that gives us food? <laughs> that would be a question. Um, Actually, don't show unavailable. That, that would just make my life a lot easier, actually. There we go, that's better. The Yutan clan? Yeah, like the uh, Wu-Tan clan, but slightly different. Right, engineered evolution. Genetics tradition? Mind over matter for sweet psionics? Psionics tradition tree. Psionic head... <laughs> okay, that I, 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 I feel that has to be done for the memes. So instead of Sonic the Hedgehog, I'd be Psionic the Hedgehog. Um, I, I feel that just has to be done for comedy value. <laughs> uh... I mean, I don't know if it's the best option, but it certainly sounds like the funniest one. Encryption. I mean, galactic force protection is pretty tasty. That's a hundred naval capacity, so we could build way more ships. That's nice. I I I like the look of collective force production. Just rename every lead of the Psionic the Hedgehog, yeah. Oh, I don't know. Starbase Cap, Consecrated Worlds, Master of Nature, Imperial Prerogative. Uh, Silver is a Psionic Hedgehog from the Sonic the Hedgehog franchise? Oh, okay. Executive Vigor. Oh. I think I've got to go with Galactic Force Projection. Because if somebody kicks off, we're going to need all the possible help we can get. But, the memes for Psionic Hedgehogs... I'm 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 at war I'm at war of myself about this. Oh. I'm gonna take I'm gonna take Galactic Force production. Yeah, mind over matter would be funnier. Maybe next time. Yeah, maybe next time. Uh, Sramo Metal Armor? That might be a good idea. Yeah, let's do that. Right, now we can build destroyers. Now we can do all kinds of hilarity. Right, where's my fleet management? Okay, so... Yeah, we've got Command Limit 80, 84. Right, okay, so we can put some destroyers in here now. And, oh wait, no, let's design the destroyer first. That's, a, that's an idea. Oh, we already, we already designed the destroyer. I've got ahead of the game. Look at that. Right. Uh, add ship. Pike class. Um, now, amusingly, Pike, that's a Star Trek reference. So that works on, on both uh, both levels. Uh, we got plenty of candy. We reckon, like, four destroyers to begin with, maybe? Oh, I didn't. I didn't reinforce. Hang on. Well, that's going to cost nine hundred and fifty-six. Okay, maybe three destroyers each to begin with. Okay, that works. Let's do that. We do have plenty of candy. Uh, this fleet, I can't do. Oh, I can. I'm an idiot. I thought I could. Uh... Oh, wait, retrofit. Click to swap this design for another? Oh, can't do that. So we can actually add ships to this because these raider things are kind of useless. So we may as well actually add something to this to make it, like, usable because at the moment it's really not. 
Is psionic force projection like making a hologram of yourself halfway across the galaxy? That is exactly what it would be, yes. <laughs> you have to convert your entire populace to psionics through a project? Oh, okay. Well, maybe we'll take that next time around. We'll, we'll take that next time. We'll make that the, the third perk? Fourth perk. Fourth perk? I think, yeah. Right. Oh, okay, this is going to get expensive. Uh... Buh, 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 buh. What's that looking? 1,600? Okay, I'm, I'm now burning through candy like a maniac. Uh... Hmm. I'll just put two in that one. That's like half my candy. It's a lot of candy. Um. Okay, we'll wait for that to build up a little bit. I think. Oh, I can always buy candy. That's true. How much can? How much can I? Uh. Oh. Okay. The conversion rate on that is pretty bad. <laughs> uh. Can I just afford like I don't know one destroyer each? How much is that going to cost me? Two hundred. Two destroyers. 470, okay. We shall expand on that later. There you go, that leaves us a thousand. That's handy. Okay, cool. Alright, how's that do with our naval cap? Uh, nothing, because we haven't built them yet. <laughs> That'd be why. Um, right, oh, that's another colony ship going out. That's good. Uh, are you building things? Oh, everyone's working on this system. Okay. I've got three construction ships working on there. That's nuts. Okay. Force projection is what Mark Hamill did in that one terrible... <laughs> yes. Yes, the, the Mark Hamill hologram. Yep. Uh, alien race pissed off an omnipotent being to the point where he willed the complete erasure of the whole damn race. It sounds about right. Uh... They've scrapped all their technical equipment due to a major malfunction. What, again? We're just repairing all their shit for them. Why do they keep breaking everything? Are they that clumsy? That's my, like, my level of clumsiness. Construction complete. Right. Have we colonized here? Oh. Oh, God. Oh, no. We have received a communique from a previously unknown spacefaring empire that called themselves the Tarassian Despoilers. That's gotta be... That's... That's a... That's a... Whatchamacallit? The... Uh, destroyer race thing. Yeah, that's a baddie. Oh, hello! Big furry guys. Uh, yeah, they're militarist xenophobes. Well, there's a surprise. Bandit Kingdom. Oh, it's a bandit kingdom. Okay. Yeah, I can't remember what they were, what they were called. It's, it's, yeah. You hacked into us and now you call us friend? You phoned us! I'm, I'm going to be nice to them because it's funny. Oh god, we've got Rayogans now. Somehow we've got Rayogan populations. Okay, that's, that's wacky. Oh, that's only 75%. That's not great. That's a continental. Oh, 75% is not bad, is it, I suppose? Old man in his house vowed he wouldn't affect the galaxy. Idiot swiped his wife, killed his wife, swept left. That is, like, nigh unpronounceable. Right, let's have a look at these guys, because that's, that's a, th right, where are they? Oh, great! Up there. Brilliant. Well, no wonder, no wonder the Bin Penchan wanted us to look after them, because they are, they are, we're in a rock and a hard place here, Jesus Christ. Oh, boy. Right, let's have a look at these, where are these fucking lunatics? Here we are. Tarassian Despoilers, right, what are they up to right now? Uh, uh they're rivaling the Bin Penchans, they are... 
close their borders to the Bin Penjans and the Dimians. Cassus Belli, target of Cassus Belli. Okay, but they're not actually actively at war with anyone. Okay. Ugh. What a wonderful galaxy. Can't wait to see it on fire. It's It'll happen. Don't worry. It'll happen. I love how we've got er almost every single uh, construction ship working on this one system to, to nickel the resources out of it. It's it's kind of funny. Uh, where is the science ship? Oh, it's there. Okay. No orders? Why no orders? Oh, because you already surveyed it. I knew that. Um, Rapara. Okay, let's go and... Oh, that's dead end, so we might as well go and have a look there. Well, that explains why I've got no construction vessels down here, because they're all working here. Which I suppose speeds things up and it's going to boost the economy a bit, so that's good. But I could probably do with one of them down south. Like the Thug Med, which is a hilarious name for Technology a... Uh... Discovered. Oh, another... Another ship is performing... Eh? Yeah, it's not within our borders, so... Wait, can we not claim this? I don't think we can claim the Tianki uh, planet. Construction complete. Like, hold, hold on. No, see, look, build starbase. Oh no, another ship is performing or has performing has finished performing this order. Okay, that's weird. Who? Oh, that guy. I did send someone down there. I just have a terrible memory. Okay, good. That's fine. That must have been like a week ago. It felt like a week ago. Right. What do we got? Uh, physics! Energy credits from technicians. Energy from starbase constructions. That sounds good. Uh, UV laser. Um, is that a good one? I can't think. Uh, moat harvesting traps, exploit resources, moats. I think we have some moats. Somewhere. Hamster brain might need to be, but we are, we are getting towards the end of the stream, to be honest, so it's it's about right. It's about right for breakdown. Heading for a breakdown. Yeah, see? Lose, losing the plot. Losing the plot. Okay, I thought we did have some moats, but I don't know where they were now. Uh, that was crystals. It was crystals we had a shit ton of, not moats. Yeah, I think we've got like one moat or something. Okay. Um. Yeah, we're not actually struggling with uh ship power at the moment. Uh, though I think if we did like improved deflectors or something, we went crystals. Yes. Um. Or do this, because this gives us more um, energy credits. And energy credits are very useful. A rogue scientist. Yep, been there. I've I've done the whole rogue scientist thing. That's, that's funny. <laughs> I can do the energy credits. I think that's good. I think that's good. Uh, that's good economy stuff. Uh, reinforcements in transit, that's good. Right, must make sure I don't accidentally click on reinforcing ships and tell them to do something else, because uh, that's always funny when that happens. Stranded scientist. Oh, hello. The wreckage on the asteroid JX40004 is the remains of a vessel belonging to a now stranded scientist. Thalotha, identifying herself as belonging to the hither, hitherto unknown Nechigamese species. Okay. From amidst the wreckage, she somehow managed to contact Bill Nye Atom Crusher, the science officer, aboard the, st aboard the ASS Ingongwat. Love it. Okay. She may join our cause? Sure. Or leave her. 50% Bill Nye gains the adaptionist trait, or 50% gains paranoia. I mean, she can join the cause. 
We actually haven't got a job for her, but... Oh, available leader traits? Okay, I've got five out of four scientists. I don't know how this works. <laughs> but we've got five scientists out of four. I've got three... Uh, we can actually hire another commander, okay. Yeah, free scientist uh, with a perk with a perk trait. Uh, she looks relatively normal. It has to be said. Uh, okay, so what's she got going on? Expertise industry, expertise computing, spark of. Okay, we need her on the council. We need her on the council asap. Um. Okay, what can we pick here? Looks weird to all of us. Yeah, she's not covered in spikes. What kind of weirdo is she? I think the Paragon's DLC installed in the background, because choosing a trait is normally only available when you have that DLC. Um, you have the mechanics of some of the DLC, I think. Regardless of whether you own them or not, I, th I think. I'm not sure. Go for another Empire bonus? Yeah, that's what I'm kind of thinking. Uh, dock sheep up, dock sheep. <laughs> dock sheep bonus. No, dock ship upkeep minus five, army upkeep minus ten. Champion of the people, happiness plus three. That might be a good idea because we had a lot of things that brought um uh happiness down. So actually. Someone who makes happiness better might actually be a good idea. I mean, the ship upkeep's a nice one, though. As is the army upkeep. Ooh. Ooh, 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 ooh. Oh, no, wait, hang on. Uh, the guy that was causing the unhappiness uh, buggered off. So, fuck it. Um, dock ship upkeep. Happiness and stability are two of the best stats. Oh, okay, happiness then. Oh, fair enough. I've got two! I've got two more picks! Oh god! Okay, this is broken. Uh, oh my god. Um, Champion of the People 2? Even more happiness? The sequel? Uh, Resilience? Or should I give her an extra lifespan? So she hangs around longer. She's already got Resilience 1. Um, even more happiness? Well, it, I mean, even more happiness or long-lived? Ah, let's go with even more happiness, I guess. She's only 30. Oh, we could take Resilience 2 if we wanted to. So we got hyper focus, research speed plus three, research speed military theory, research speed statecraft. Um, hmm. Live long and prosper. Yeah, she's she's a bit vulcan isn't she? Research speed plus three is pretty good though. Intuition two, not ship effects. Uh, I think if we take resilience, that means she'll hang around longer. I think that's a good shout. I, I'm gonna take resilience for the second one. Okay, so if we put her in charge, we we need to make her like head scientist or something. Holy shit. Holy buggery ball bags. Right, yes. Yeah, sorry, Medot Craghelm. Step aside. Right, so she's got uh, research speed industry plus 10% and industry options. Plus 10% research speed computing and chance for computing options. 7.5% happiness. 6% research speed. <laughs> Holy fuck. And she's only 33. Um, and I think some of the other stuff actually isn't showing either. 
So she previously she was on Can of Worms Prime. Oh, over scientist cap. Oh, okay. So because we're over the scientist cap, she's costing a little bit more influence, which is she's 15 versus 12 unity. So that's that's worth it, totally. That's quite funny. That's actually quite ridiculous. Does that mean I can have another science ship? That would follow, wouldn't it? Um You look pretty good. Speed our science program. Yeah, exactly. Hey, you're pretty good. Um Yes, science vessel. Uh where would I most need a science vessel? Oh, I've already got one there. Uh hmm. I can put her in a science vessel as well, can't I? I think I can. Is there a shipyard here? There is a shipyard. Oh, you're destroying you're building shit. Never mind. Okay. You can't okay, right, because she's got she's got ship bonuses as well. Oh my word. Okay, actually I think all my uh shipyards might be busy actually. That doesn't have a shipyard. Uh do, 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 do. Star base, that's busy, that's busy, that's busy. That one isn't. Uh that doesn't have a shipyard, that'd be why. Um Right, so who's... Okay, that's going to take a while. That's going to take a while. Oh, and that's building a colony ship. Okay. Uh... Hmm. Oh, stick that there. Actually, don't think these take very long to build, actually. So I'm going to bump that up the... Oh, 60. Okay. That's fine. That's kind of ridiculous. Uh, and I still haven't reached my fleet cap yet. Actually, that's probably because we haven't built everything yet. That's a good point. Oh my god, it is kicking off. Uh, incoming transmission. Uh, the latest nooch letter. Oh my god. We would like to donate. Minus 500. We could afford it. Sure. Okay, uh, well, we have uh, explored quite a large amount of uh, ground. We now know where the Swalfins are. They're in a war with the Melodic Hub, which I imagine is quite a noisy war. We have the Kyrian Empire and the Solidarity of Gorfis there, and necessarily we have one bunch of lunatics, which are not that far away from me. So, yes, we have unofficially found everyone. Let's quickly check in on the, the war, actually. How's that going? I wonder if the Melodic Hub would actually give us... Actually, wait, if we actually... Hang on, I just had a cunning plan. If... If, 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 if we offered a trade deal and we said... Communications and active sensor link, and then offered communications, active sensor link. Oh, okay, that's not. I'm not too happy about that. Can we bribe them? What have I got a lot of? Uh. If I get this from alloys, how would, how would that work? Nearly two hundred. Okay, let's let's go let's go back a little bit. Uh, oh, crystals. That's true. We're not actually... I don't know if we're actually using the crystals for anything. How many crystals have we got? Oh, 89! Holy fuck! Okay, we're actually harvesting crystals now. I forgot about that. No, alloys, alloys would be better. Right, my theory, my th my theory is here. If we get the communication info from them, we should should be able to talk to the Swalford Empire, unless I'm missing my guess, because these guys are at war. 
So I'm figuring they must at least have been talking to each other. I mean, not necessarily being pleasant to each other. Right, that should work. Let's see what happens. Now they should accept, yeah, because it's in, uh, it's in, uh, plus. Your proposal is being processed. Anomaly detected. Uh, that's an anomaly? Where is that? Are you surveying? That's the important thing. Uh... Yeah, you are saying. Leave it be for now. Finish surveying. There you go. Shared knowledge. Oh, hello! The recent scientist edition Thalotha has put a knowledge of technology to good use. Her shared insights have pushed off physics research to new heights. Our research into technologies is furthered. Technology discovered. Holy shit! Yeah, she was uh she was a good pick. Holy balls. Okay, so we've got subspace sensors for free. Uh uh good. And Defense Grid Supercomputer for free. <laughs> okay. She's she's doing good work. She's she's doing good work. Holy crap. I only wish she was immortal. We could keep her around forever. Right, come on, machine machine people. Accept my accept my offer. Come on, you know you want to. Um we're receiving a transmission from the Shatishian Covenant. That was not what I was expecting, but okay. Diplomatic channels are open. Okay, hello. Whoa! Holy fuck! He looks like something from Stranger Things. Jesus Christ. Theocratic oligarchy. The xenophiles, fanatic spiritualist xenophiles. They should like us, actually. Chief Presenter Grim Stanief and the Re Religious Council bigs you greetings. O okay. Hello, Shatesians. Sh oh, bloody hell. We're receiving a transmission from the Aig Aman Enlightened Kingdom. They appear to have successfully translated our language. Diplomatic channels and I open all hostilities between us have ceased for the moment. Wait, we didn't. We didn't have hostile, did we? Oh, there's xenophile fanatic spiritualists as well. <laughs> oh God, what is going on? Ah, uh, High King. Capistas the first. Great. Praise the divine. We're receiving a transmission from the Sorellian state. Oh, God. They are a authoritarian fanatic spiritualist. Okay, great. Might be pre-FTL Empire. Yeah, you might be right. Uh, hello to you. Swolfin Empire! Yes! We did it! We did it! There they are! The xenophile pacifist spiritualists. Well met, alien. I represent the Swalford Empire, led by the illustrious Arch Prophetess Brianne I. A divine mandate. Everyone's religious. This is great. Welcome. Is that it? Holy shit. I hope that's it. Okay, I take it back. The Swalford Empire are here. So we have the Swolfin Empire, the Cerulean State. Uh, okay, so I guess this, the uh, Cetitian Covenant must have got crushed, or maybe they're a splinter uh, lot. There we go! It all works! Yeah, who were those? The, yeah, the, the, the Swolfin Empire is very much at war with the uh, uh, Melodic Hub, which is kind of funny. I still can't figure out who attacked who, to be honest. The old leader has died. The original leader had a cool name. I mean, we have been going for... When does it When does it start? Is it... We have been going for quite some time in universe. So I, I think that's, that's just uh, the nature of the things. Yeah. So we've been going for 65 years. Um... 
to be honest, if that, if that had occurred to me earlier on, we could have done it a lot earlier. It literally only just occurred to me that if they're at war with you, that they would be talking to you. So there we go. We don't know who the hell the Egg Aman Enlightened Kingdom are, but holy crap. Right. All the major players. All the major players. There we go. Oh, Jesus Christ. Well, thank you for that, Melodic Hub, even though I secretly think you're evil. Um, Have we actually figured out what their Civic is yet? I don't think we have, have we? Have we figured it out yet? Uh, okay, Diplomacy. Yeah, we still don't know what their Civics are. That worries me. Um... Yeah, well, no, honestly, no wonder they're at war with a melodic hub, for whatever reason, because you've got the Fossian Shard there and the melodic hub there, so this must be an absolute knife fight in a telephone box. The flag has changed? Yeah, that happened with, um, that happened with the uh, Roach Mogul's one. I have a funny feeling for some reason the flag gets randomized. I don't know why. Um, but yeah, it's done the same. Th it's done the same thing to uh, Road Mogul's one. So I don't know why. Could be maybe one of the mods didn't update. Um, I don't know. Do you guys use a flag mod? I'm just wondering. Maybe either that or there's maybe there's a the the a slight weird thing with the flag mod. Anyway, it is gone ten uh, uh, eight o'clock. Okay, I, I guess maybe it just randomizes it for for some reason, or somebody else was using, or somebody else was using it. Maybe, like, isn't is that the one you used, Roach Mogul? Because that was like Spiky Foxes. Because it looks like the the Enlightened Kingdom nicked it. No, oh, okay. Oh, Bamboozle was using a flag mod. It was an anchor from the Aquatics DLC? Oh, okay. Yeah, I think it just... It, for whatever reason, I think it just randomizes the flags, which is uh, a bit awkward. But never mind. Right. We found everybody. Everybody. Glorious. Right. Let's just make sure that's saved. Which it did. Uh, let's exit the desktop. Good lord. Right, let's wrap things up there. Good lord. That was a bit of a marathon, but at least we found everybody. So thank you, everybody, for being a part of the stream. It is much appreciated. Uh, thanks for Bullet Battle Toaster for the sub. That is uh, much appreciated as well. Um, yeah, you'd actually, you, you, you called it Roach Mogul. You did. I didn't think we'd find everybody, but, um, it, it turns out we did, so that's kind of epic. Uh, you can find all my assorted links are there. You can find a link to the charity I am currently doing a fundraiser for there. Um, yeah, I'm going to be back on Saturday with some more Stellaris. I'm going to have a bit of a break in the meantime because I uh, need to get the old brain reset. And uh, yeah, so tune in for more of that then. So uh, let's go find something to raid. Oh yeah, what does that say? Downloads? One of one complete? Oh, that's Helldivers. Never mind. <laughs> I'm like, what is going on? What is going on? Get the chopper. Okay. Uh, let's do that. Right, let's see what's going on. Firing up the Twitches. All right, here we go. Um, um, actually, what... We'll Balablam's on. I don't actually know if he's going to be on for much longer, but he raids us a lot, so let's go have a look. Oh, if I can actually spell his name right, which is always a struggle. Uh, w A B L A A L A B A L A. There we go. Nailed it. Right. Please be kind when you raid. And I shall catch you guys on Saturday. Take care of yourselves in the meantime. And uh, I shall see you then. Goodbye.